101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. And you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, a pleasant, good Wednesday afternoon, and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your afternoon with us here. Sam Houston Men's Basketball look ready to rock and roll here tonight, entering this contest on a nine-game winning streak. They're facing the AM Corpus Christi Islanders here this evening. We'll have more pregame. We'll break this one down as we head into it. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up and see how healthy your gut can feel. Align contains a quality probiotic strain developed by gastroenterologists. It adds more good bacteria to your gut to naturally help soothe your occasional digestive upsets with continued daily usage. This is the time to join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Sign up at alignprobiotics.com. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. All right, friends, a pleasant good afternoon. Welcome back here live again from the American Bank Center in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas. Just right across the street, the water. It's a beautiful afternoon. Ended up being a beautiful day here in South Texas. Sam Houston entering this contest 12 and 5 overall, 6 and 0 in the Southland, setting up top. The AM Corpus Christi Islanders 3 and 9. They're 0 and 3 in Southland Conference play. Sam Houston moved up in the college. Insider.com mid's major top 25 poll. It was just a week after joining it for the first time this season. They were at number 19. That was entering into that contest at then number 12, Abilene Christian, uh, which was ranked 15. Well, the Bearcats have now moved up into that 14th position and taking care of business in the Southland Conference again on a nine-game winning streak tonight. The Bearcats coming off of a 64-57 victory at home against Abilene Christian. That moves Sam Houston to 6-0 in the Southland Conference play for the second time in three seasons. Senior guard Demarcus Lampley, he had a career-high 30 points. Junior guard Zach Nuttall, he turned in a double-double with 14, had a career-high 12 rebounds. And the junior, Tristan Ikpe, who we had, on the Jason Hooten Radio Show. That takes place every Monday night at 6.30 at True Texas Barbecue. He had a solid performance as well, a career-high 12 rebounds and seven points. Well, Jack, Zach Nuttall, we talked about him. He's the two-time Southland Conference Player of the Week this season. He was also named to the CollegeInsider.com Lou Henson Award mid-season watch list recently. That award goes to the mid-major national player of the year. He was also named uh, the Lou Henson their player at the of the week for the week of January the 11th through the 16th where he averaged just under 31 points and nine and a half rebounds and a pair of victories over Lamar and Houston Baptist. He was also the Southland Conference Player of the Week, as I talked about earlier, two times in a row. He began the week on that streak with a double-double, scoring 28 points, grabbing 10 rebounds and a 96-71 a victory over Lamar on the 13th. And he's also the league's leading scorer, averaging 20 points a game here in the Southland. He capped off that week with his 1,000th career point, a 33.9 rebound performance, and an 87-80 win over Houston Baptist. For that week, Nuttall shot almost 69%. He was 22 of 32 from both the floor and from behind the three-point line. Well, Sam Houston again on a streak here, trying to keep that alive. Uh, they ran into an issue, though, last season facing this same Texas A&M Corpus team. This is a team that has been plagued by a few injuries, and COVID has been uh, an issue here, too, as well as caused several games to be canceled. 
They're on a three-game losing streak to start Southland Conference play. That started on the 13th at Southeastern Louisiana. It was a 76-63 loss, and then an 87-68 loss at New Orleans, and then on the road at Incarnate Word, 72-53. So this is the Southland opener, home opener here, rather, for the Islanders of Texas A&M Corpus Christi. We'll step aside and take a break. When we come back, we'll have starting lineups and the tip-off. Stay with us, friends. This is Sam Houston Men's Basketball on the Bearcat Sports Network. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphaderalabs.com. That's alphaderalabs.com. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. We've got the pizza with that fresh made taste to put a smile on your face. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. When you need a break, they got the right of food, and it's a really great place. Are you looking for a part-time job? Maybe you're a college student in need of cash. Well, now is your chance. Double Dave's is hiring for delivery drivers. Must be 18 years old and have had your license for two years. Apply online or in person today. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. We've got the pizza with that fresh made New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. Where we are, home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here again live this afternoon from the American Bank Center here in Corpus Christi, Texas. As uh, we're just getting some of our levels adjusted. We're on the table tonight for the first time this season, but we are required to wear a face shield. And we're going to send it over now to the country's national anthem. Stay with us as we'll keep it right here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the Just a beautiful rendition of our country's national anthem, a special treat here at American Bank Center as the quartet was singing here tonight. I want to give a special thank you to well as to public address announcer Mike Coffin here for the Islanders. He's a 2002 Bearcat alum taking care of business here with PA duties on the road in Corpus Christi. Also want to thank Stephen King, our media relations contact here at AM Corpus. Always a fun place. And friends, as we're heading to the WAC, this may be the final time, at least in conference play, that we'll face these Islanders here. And uh, hopefully we'll have some non-conference action in the years to come. But got to get through this one tonight. As you go back a season ago, 
This was a team that many came in, Sam Houston, and folks who were with the Bearcats said, hey, this should be one we get, and it did not at this same arena. So it's a different story here this afternoon. Sam Houston again entering tonight on a nine-game winning streak and looking to keep that alive as they are looking to improve here in the South. And so we'll go over again talking about head coach Willis Wilson, a Rice alum from 1982. He's the head coach for the Islanders. 26 seasons in college basketball, 359 wins, 407 losses. Ten of those seasons are here with Texas A&M Corpus where he holds 141 and 160 record. For Sam Houston, of course, under head coach Jason Hooten, the Tarleton State alum, of 1993 in his 11th season, all of them at Sam Houston. His overall record, 209 wins, 143 losses again for Coach Hooten. And you can hear from Coach Hooten again every Monday from True Texas Barbecue at 6.30 p.m. So make sure to come out and join us for that exciting show. We've talked a lot about junior guard Zach Nuttall and Demarcus Lampley. Just a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, they were named the fifth best scoring duo in the country, accounting for more than 40% of Sam Houston's scoring. Nuttall leads the Southland. We mentioned that earlier, 20 points a game, and Lampley is tied at six at just under 16 points a game. Lampley also first in the Southland in three-point shooting percentage, right under 44%. Zach Nuttall, not to be outdone at third, at 42%. Lampley also seventh in field goal percentage. Nuttall is 11th in field goal percentage as well. A lot of accolades for these young men as they are continuing an impressive season. And again, this team continues to gel. We heard from Tristan Ikpe on the coaches show on Monday night. And Coach Hooten said, you know, Tristan is one of these guys that he may end up finding a way to average a double-double for the Bearcats as the season progresses. Not there yet, he was close. But this Tristan Ikpe is a young man to keep your eye on, a junior, again, Tristan Ikpe. We'll go over the starting lineups. We'll start here tonight with Texas A&M Corpus Christi as it is a six-foot, 190-pound senior guard out of Klein, Texas, and Klein High School. It's number two, Miles Smith, a six-foot, five, 245-pound sophomore guard out of St. Petersburg, Florida, Lakewood High School, number three, Jalen White. 195-pound, six-foot-two senior guard right here, the hometown boy out of Corpus Christi, Texas, and Veterans Memorial. It's number 12, Peyton Smith, a six-foot-eight, 230-pound junior forward out of Orlando, Florida, and a transfer from Florida Southwestern State, number 13, the Lazarius Keys, and a six-foot-four, 185-pound senior guard out of Portland, Oregon, transferred from Auburn, number 32, Nolan. Bertain, and he is one to keep an eye on, too. This is a young man that has started to excel uh, here as of late. So, again, keep an eye on these guys tonight. For your Sam Houston State Bearcats, we'll start things with a 6'2", 170-pound senior guard out of Phoenix City, Alabama, Wallace State, number three, Demarcus Lampley, a 6'3", 185-pound junior guard out of Bryan, Texas, and Bryan High School, the two-time Southland Conference Player of the Week, number 10, Zach Nuttall. It's a 6'2", 190-pound junior guard out of Chicago, Illinois, and Colby Community College, number 11, J.B. On May, a 6'6", 200-pound junior forward out of Deer Park High School, and Blinn Junior College, who was on the show Monday night, number 12, Tristan Ikpe. And last but certainly not least, a 6'2", 280-pound junior guard out of Starkville, Mississippi, Mississippi Community College, number 24, Dante Powers. We are set for tip-off here on Wednesday evening in Corpus Christi, Texas. The opening tip controlled uh, by the Bearcats and... It goes out of bounds to start things as Zach Nuttall was out there. Sam Houston, by the way, in their black road jerseys, black shorts with that Sammy Stand Up Tall logo above the numbers on front, the numbers in orange outlined in white, the shorts in black as well. Four Texas A&M Corpus in their white home jerseys, white shorts trimmed in green and blue. Texas A&M Corpus written across the top, the numbers in blue. Underway here as A&M moves from left to right. For those of you on social media, we'll get the scoreboard updated momentarily. Over the left wing here, it's Bertain takes a three. This shot is a air ball as it goes out. I know it's saved, but it goes right into the hands of Sam Houston's Dante Powers. Bearcats quickly to the left side. It's J.B. on May. It's Lampley for three. This one on the way won't connect. Lampley has been hot from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three point, but to start things here, it wouldn't fall. Almost one minute gone here, no score. 
as Sam Houston back on the defensive side. Here on the right side, it's the Islanders on the left wing trying to drive in. And good defense here. Nowhere to go there for Bertain. Now over to the right wing into the hands of Smith. He'll put up a three. That one partially blocked by Ikpe. And here's Lampley in the backcourt. Now across front, it's Lampley from straight away crossing over over the right wing. And now back up top of the three is Dante Powers. Quick chest pass over to Nuttall. Thought about a three, now drives inside, flips it up too strong. That shot no good. The rebound into the hands of the Lazarius Keys. No score here. The Bearcats 0 for 2 to start this ball game. The Islanders back the other way, and this one goes out of bounds. It went off the hands of Jalen White. Jalen, by the way, the leading scorer on this AM Corpus team. He averages 11 points a game. So just about a minute 20 gone here in the first half. Zach Nuttall inbounding the ball over to Dante Powers on the far side. Back here now on the near side is Nuttall back over to Powers. A little hot potato action to start this one. Now it is Powers with the left hand. Now the right-handed pass over to Nuttall into the hands of Lampley. With a left-handed dribble, bounce pass to Powers. And May goes back over to Dante Powers on the left corner. Trying to shake through a defender from the left elbow. Around the world we go here to the right corner. It's Nuttall for three. This shot won't fall. The Bearcats starting here 0 for 3. As uh, we are underway here in this first half of play. Again, I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth with the face shield and all. The Islanders have it back over here on the right side. Turnaround jumper from the right elbow. This one is good at the bottom of the net for the Lazarius Keys. So again, an early 2-0 score here as the Islanders will score first. Bearcats, a right wing jumper, good for DeMarcus Lampley. He wants to turn the light on early tonight. He's got to get started, missed that three to start, but here a field goal for two. We're tied at two apiece, 17.40 to go here in the first half. Now the right wing trying to drive inside is Miles Smith, and an offensive foul called here on Smith. Great job. That foul will go on Miles Smith on the offensive side. He'll pick up his first personal and the first team foul with 7.13. Beg your pardon, 17.36 to go here in the first half of play in Corpus. Nuttall will inbound over to Dante Powers, back to Nuttall. Nuttall back up top over to Powers. Now crossing center court on that far side, the right wing, he rotates. Bounces around, now inside the paint, will dodge back over. Finds Ikpe to Lampley, left wing. Lampley back over to the corner, it's Powers for three. Bam, he's got it, target acquired. And the first three of the night will go to Dante Powers. We always say there's role players who will step up. Will it be Powers tonight as the Bearcats take the first lead? Six to two with 17 minutes to go here in the first half of play. Back over from the free throw. This one blocked by Powers. And here's Nuttall trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Loses his dribble. Able to pick it up just in front of the half-court line. Over to Lampley. He'll take a three. Yes! Back-to-back -back threes for the Bearcats. It's Lampley turning on the lights. And Sam Houston on a run now, leading 9-2, to 16-44 to go here in the first. Well, we talk about this Bearcat team leading the Southland Conference from downtown and already here this afternoon. It took them a while to get started, this evening rather. Now the Islanders back onto the right wing. It's into the hands of Smith. Smith trying to drive in, and a carry call to get Smith. It's another turnover by Sam Houston. As the Bearcats' defense finally starting to show up here as... DeMarcus Lampley and Coach had a little back and forth friendly slap with each other there coming out of that turnover. Zach Nuttall to inbound, goes over to Dante Powers on the far side. He's moving from right to left, crossing the top of the Islander logo. Now to the right wing, driving in from that right corner. Picks up his dribble, left-handed pass to Lampley, over to Nuttall. Nuttall, handoff to Javion May. May down to Ikpe. He'll flip it, dip it, good for Tristan Ikpe. Nice assist there as it goes down to Ikpe. And the Bearcats with their largest lead extending now 11 to two. Four minutes gone here in the first half of play. On top of the Islanders here, over to the right wing, it's Smith. Smith trying to shake through Javion May, can't do it. Now a quick chest pass top over to Smith. Smith working around a high screen, Nuttall guarding him. Chest pass goes back to Smith from the right elbow. He's pushed down, now a jumper from the right baseline. Won't fall, rebound to Keys. Keys is triple teamed, has to kick this one out. Left wing three, that one partially blocked by Lampley. Bearcats have it back and a eight point lead on the far side. Shaken, bacon, Dante Powers over to Lampley from downtown. This one won't fall from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three point line. He's hit a couple of them here or one of them so far. Missed that one. 11 to two, beg your pardon, 10 to two is the actual score here. As the Bearcats leading by eight, 15 to go here in the first half. 
Back into the hands of Smith. He is standing on the Corpus Christi Athletic Club logo just in front of us here on the right side near that right wing. Now the pass goes over to Miles Smith. Great defense by Powers. Finding down low is White. Turn around. That shot no good. Dante around the back. Powers has in the left hand. He'll find Nuttall for three from the wing. This shot too strong. Won't fall. And the rebound into the hands of DeLazarius Keys. Keys has it back over to Peyton Smith. And Smith will take a breather. Boy, these both of these teams are winded already, especially Smith here standing near center court as they're having to fight tough. Easily the toughest team that they have faced here this season in the Southland Conference play. It's only their fourth game. Turn around inside here. And a foul called. I believe it's going to go against Zach Nuttall. So Zach Nuttall picking up a foul here. That's his first personal and the first team foul. 14.26 to go here in the first half of play. Bearcats lead 10-2. to We'll step aside for a minute here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment Gear and Clearance Sale is going on now on all lawnmowers. All sizes, all models, all must go. Thousands in savings. Prices so low you don't want to miss this year in clearance sale on all Toro zero-turn mowers. Yanmar tractors and excavators. Gravely zero-turn mowers. And country clipper mowers. The best customer service and best products in Huntsville. 936-294-0282. Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment serving Huntsville and the surrounding areas. Open six days a week. Right across from McCoy's on Highway 75 South. Sale ends January 31st, 2021. This is Kevin with Beckham and Jones Heating and Air Conditioning. Winter is here, so if you haven't had your heater checked, call us at 936-295-9173 and we will make sure your heater is running safe and efficient. Also, if someone in your home is suffering from allergies, we can install indoor air quality products such as air purifiers, media filters, UV lights, dehumidifiers, and more. Give us a call today at 936-295-9173 and make sure your home is healthy and comfortable. Your neighbor since 1946. Now that's Beckham and Jones. License number TACLA 260796. Welcome back, friends. A pleasant good evening. I'm Rob Hipp, live from the American Bank Center here in the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. A special thank you to Ty Copeland. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. This game also made possible in part by our good friends at Moke & Moke Attorneys at Law for your estate planning, real estate, or business law needs. Ask for Moke & Moke Attorneys at Law, serving Huntsville since 1971. How about Charlie's Used Cars? Customer satisfaction is our number one priority. That's Charlie's Used Cars. And also our good friends at True Texas Barbecue inside of HEB. Smoked with Texas oak wood for up to 14 hours. Barbecue by the plate or pound, plus delicious sides like brisket beans, cream corn, potato salad, and coleslaw. That's True Texas Barbecue, home of the Jason Hooten Radio Show every Monday at 6.30. Back in action here from Corpus Christi. The Bearcats leading by 8, 10 to 2, 14, 26 to go here in this first half of play. And Sam Houston started out a little bit rough, but now on a 10-0 run as uh, they're up here so far taking care of business over the last three minutes and 37 seconds. However, they haven't scored in almost two minutes as far as AM Corpus. They haven't scored in over three and a half minutes. They're one of six of their last six shots. So the officials here reviewing a little bit right next to us on the video screen and uh, just checking things out here. And I believe just a common foul here. So it is Jalen White at the line here. Shooting two free throws. He's a 61% free throw shooter, the six foot five sophomore guard. He'll take a deep breath. Standing here on the right side, bends his knees, a right handed free throw on the way. This one no good off the front of the rim. Some Bearcat fans here in the house tonight as well. Had an opportunity to talk to Zach Nuttall's mother a while ago. Appreciate the Nuttall family. And Everyone who comes out to support the Bearcats, especially at home. You know, we've started this 1,200 strong campaign, saw uh, well over 700 at the Abilene Christian game. And, of course, a couple of games here on the road before we go back at home. But, again, at those home games, come out and support the Cats. Second free throw on the way. This one no good either. Misses both of them. And a whistle here and a dead ball. A foul called on the Islanders. It's on Simeon Fryer. He reached in a little bit too much. That's his first personal, the second team foul here in the first half. The Bearcats inbounding on the right side, moving from right to left. It's Dante Powers off the high screen from Nuttall, now crossing center court, drops it back over to Nuttall. Left wing Lampley over to the right wing Nuttall. Nuttall with the right-handed dribble. He'll step back. This a long two. Goes off the left side of the rim, no good. Rebound high up into the air. And a foul called against the Bearcats. That's going to go on Tristan Ikpe. That is the first personal on Ikpe. 
<laughs> and the second team foul. Actually, yeah, that is the first on Ikpe. Nuttall has one and Ikpe has one. 14 minutes to go here in the first half. The Islanders inbounding on the left side under the Bearcats' rim. Trailing here by eight, 10 to two. Missed their last two free throws when they got to the line. Trying to cross over a dribble here is Miles Smith. Good defense again by the Bearcats over the left wing. Trying to drive baseline. Double team has to kick this one out. And that ball smack dab in front of me and it goes out of bounds off the Bearcats. Boy, that thing came through here like a rocket. It was knocked out of bounds by Corpus Christi, or beg your pardon, by Tristan Ikpe. It wasn't Ikpe, rather. It was just knocked out by the Bearcats. May have been Manny Crump who knocked that one, who just checked in moments ago. And a whistle here as the official wanting to know why the time on the shot clock was wrong. So they're going to have to get this adjusted. Showing 15 seconds on the shot clock here, 13.43. The officials want to get this thing reset, I believe, as they're talking things over with head coach Willis Wilson of the Islanders. Well, again, friends, if you're out there joining us, we'd love to hear from you on the social media streams. Pete Riefel joining us uh, just outside of Bastrop, Texas, in Cedar Creek, saying looking good. Well, man, I'm in a, in a face mask tonight for the first time. Uh, we've been socially distant at a lot of other arenas, so we've had not had to wear a mask, but here at this facility, uh, graciously wearing the face shield here. So, yeah, they're going to take 10 more seconds off the shot clock. It didn't get started, so five seconds on that shot clock. 13.43 to go. Bearcats leading 10-2. to The Islanders will have the ball. We'll step aside for 30 seconds on the Bearcats Sports Network. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas. Sam Houston leading 10-2 to on a nine-game winning streak here, 6-0 and in the Southland Conference and trying to make it 10, but we're still early here this evening in Corpus as the Islanders come out of the gates here, trailing 10-2. to Quick shot up, straightaway three. This one takes a bounce and falls in. We'll see if that was a three officially. No, it was just a two there by Simeon Fire Fryer. So a long two-pointer makes it 10-4 to four coming out of the timeout here, and that'll stop a drought in almost four minutes for the Islanders. And here the other way, Nuttall knocks it out of bounds, and that's a turnover against Zach. Now Zach Nuttall in the conference, it's one stat that you don't want to be under. He leads in so many other categories. He's in the top ten or so, but one category you don't want to lead is in turnovers. He's first in the south and turning it over almost three and a half times a game, picking up one there just a few moments ago. On the left wing here, back on the right side, it's the Islanders. Back to Smith, right wing, right corner three. The shot up, this one rattles in and out. It will not fall. And the putback, though, is good for Simeon Fryer. So Fryer with back-to-back -back baskets, 10-6. to six. Uh, Sam Houston losing a little bit of rhythm here as Coach Hooten in front of us telling his team, let's get this one going. Back over to Nuttall, top of the three. As Jaron Cook set to check in here in just a few moments at the scores table alongside Bryce Monroe. Nuttall flips this one left side. He had to extend himself. Nothing there. Fighting for it down on the court is Manny Crump alongside. Looks like it was Simeon Fryer. And the jump ball possession arrow will favor Texas A&M Corpus. So 12 seconds for now remains on the shot clock. 12.45 to go here in the first half. Bearcats holding on to a four-point advantage, 10-6. And actually that jump ball possession arrow will favor Sam Houston, so the Bearcats will inbound here. It's Bryce Monroe who just checked in a few moments ago over to Lampley, left corner three. He traveled though before he put it up and that's a turnover. So coming out of that, a turnover there by Lampley. We'll give it right back here to Texas A&M Corpus. As Sam Houston is scoreless in the last three and a half minutes here. And the Islanders inbounding, goes into the hands of Perry Francois, who checked in just a few moments ago. Back over top of the three here, Smith. Back up top, handoff back into the hands of Smith from Francois. He'll go baseline, right side. Foul called here. I believe it's going to go against uh, Bryce Monroe. So Monroe, who just checked in a few moments ago, is going to pick up an early foul here. That one in the act of shooting. 
That is the first personal and the fourth team foul by the Bearcats. They'll actually call it the third team foul. And at the line here shooting two, Miles Smith. He is an 81% free throw shooter. The right-handed shot on the way. That one good at the bottom of the net. So Tristan Ikpe will check back into the ball game for Manny Crump, the junior, who checked in moments ago. He'll get a chat here with head coach Hooten as he heads back to the bench. Miles Smith takes one dribble, bends his knees. The right-handed free throw shot on the way. This one good at the bottom of the net as well. So that one on the way here. 10 to 8, the score made both of them. Bearcats holding on to a two point advantage. It's the freshman Ron Rowe over to Lampley. Lampley, top of the three, bounce pass to Ikpe, flips it up. Oh, left side good as he extended his wingspan and dropped it in from the left side of the glass. Like seeing that from Tristan Ikpe. He's a force. Got to depend on him as he's going to continue to step up his game as the season goes on. Monroe here with great defense back into the hands of Jalen White, top of the three. And a whistle here. Boy, that's going to go against Terriante Thomas. It is the first personal on Terriante Thomas, the fourth team foul by the Bearcats. 12 minutes to go here in the first half. Islanders have it trailing by four. Up top from the inbound, now over to the left corner. This is a three ball. This one falls at the bottom of the net. It's good. And that was Nolan Bertain. Well, I mentioned Nolan Bertain earlier. He is a player that's really starting to find some heat here for this Islander team. Bearcats got to watch him. Only leading by one now, 12 to 11. As they've uh, led here in this ball game, I believe by as much as eight. Now it's Lampley over on the left side, trying to wiggle through defenders, gets it poked away, back into the hands of Jaron Cook. Cook will find Monroe straight away, three. This one won't fall for Bryce. The freshman not able to connect here, and Sam Houston going a little bit cold from that three-point line as they're only two of eight now. Again, this is a Sam Houston team that leads the South and from that three-point line. Well, they don't lead the South, and they're actually in, I uh, believe it's fourth place, but still towards the top here. This one poked up by Lampley as it goes out of bounds. So it will remain with Texas A&M Corpus. Eight seconds on the shot clock. 11 minutes to go here in the first half. 12 to 11 the score. We'll step aside for one minute. Bearcats on the Bearcats Sports Network. We'll be right back. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weezer Hyundai to get a real deal? How about a 2020 Hyundai Elantra SE or Venue SEL, your choice, 14888 or 0% for 60 months. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL 19888 or 0% for 72 months. How about a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SE only 2888 or 0% for 72 months. Exit 87B Wilson Road in Conroe or WeezerHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative is focused on you, our consumer members. That's why we work day in and day out to keep your electricity costs affordable. In fact, our recent power costs are some of the lowest in the past decade. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative, your trusted source for power and information. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from Corpus Christi, Texas. At the American Bank Center, I'm live in the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Boy, it feels like a broadcast booth tonight, even though we're down here on Press Row on the right side. I'm actually right next to our bench, uh, still socially distanced, but uh, here close down. And I got to tell you, it feels like a broadcast booth tonight as I'm wearing the face shield for the first time. Got to tell you, though, it's pretty comfortable, and I don't mind wearing it all. It's actually easier than wearing a mask if we had to do that. The score coming out, 12 to 11, Bearcats leading only by one, 11.02 to go here in the first half of play. This is the Sam Houston team that led by as many as eight when it was 10 to two back at the 13.43 mark. So this Islander team is on a nine to two run over the last five minutes, making three of their last four shots, one of four from that three point line. Sam Houston on the flip side, they went a little cold from the field, only making one of their last six and one of their last five from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line. They have trying to find some rhythm here. They have not been to the Charlie's used cars free throw line hit here in this game. Texas A&M Corpus with an opportunity here to take the lead on a jumper. This shot, though, short, and the offensive rebound is tracked down by the shooter, Simeon Fryer. 
Back up top, back over to Fryer on the right wing. Trying to drive inside on Jaron Cook from the top of the free throw line. Quick pass over to White. White working inside the paint from outside the semicircle. Shot no good. Nuttall poking around and finally has the rebound. Luckily, the Cats were back there. It's over to Bryce Monroe on the left wing. Working a right-handed dribble. Quick pass over to Nuttall. Nuttall driving inside. Flips it up. He's fouled. And Nuttall will go to the Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. The Bearcats at the line for the first time tonight. It took him almost half of the first half to get there. And Nuttall with an opportunity here to extend a little bit of insurance, only leading by one. Again, Zach Nuttall, a 70% free throw shooter, 65 of 93 this season. He's the two-time Southland player of the week. He's had two double-doubles. Makes the first Charlie's Used Cars free throw. That's critical. Two double-doubles on the season. He also is the Southland Conference leading score, 20 points a game. He's had nine 20-point games this season. Second free throw from that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line is good. Big free throws there for Zach Nuttall. Good to see him making those, and the Bearcats extend it back to three. So a &M Corpus with an opportunity here to tie it on a three or get to within one on a jumper. Goes into the hands of Perry Francois, who checked back in moments ago over to the left wing. 16 on the shot clock, flips this one up, and an easy shot does it for Jalen White, the leading scorer on the team. Able to find the basket there for two. 14-13, Bearcats by one. Ten minutes to go as we're halfway through the first half. Here in Corpus, over to Nuttall, left wing. Quick handoff, Lampley for three. Bam, got it, baby. That's to Marcus Lampley from the Moke and Moke Attorney at Law three-point line. Critical three by Lampley, trying to turn the lights back on here tonight. Bearcats leading by four, 17-13. Inside the paint, turnaround jumper. Boy, and Ikpe had good defense there on Perry Francois, but he was able to turn around and drop it in. 17-15, two-point Bearcat advantage, 9.33 to go here in the first half. Over to Jaron Cook on the left corner. Jaron trying to shake and bake, finds Nuttall straight away. Boy, it just won't fall for Nuttall as it was halfway down the cylinder and popped out. Back over to the Islanders, and an offensive foul back the other way as Monroe hit the deck, and he hit the deck because Jalen White just a little too strong down there tonight. So Jalen White with his first personal foul, and that is the fourth team foul by Texas A&M Corpus. Jalen White already with three turnovers here in this ball game. He'll be credited with that one there on the offensive foul. Turned it back over to Sam Houston. Monroe takes the inbound pass from Nuttall, moving across center court from right to left in their black jerseys, black shorts with those numbers in Bearcat orange outlined in white. Monroe telling Powers to go down. He's not doing a little bit of confusion there. Instead, it goes to Lampley. Left baseline. Lampley floats it up, and it falls in. We'll see for Lampley and one. Demarcus Lampley coming alive here in this first half of play. Boy, talk about Demarcus Lampley. This is a young man that's came alive, especially over the last six games where he's averaging 23 points a game. He was also named the Southland Conference Player of the Week. He's first in the Southland from that Moke and Moke Attorneys at Law three-point line, shooting 44%. He has had seven 20-plus point games, and he completes the Charlie's Dues Cars free throw. It's a three-point play there for DeMarcus Lampley, 20-15. to 15. Bearcats by five with 8.55 to go here in the first. The Islanders have it back on the far side, moving from right to left. It is into the hands of Miles Smith, trying to work against the freshman Monroe. Now it's White over to the right wing, Bertain. Back around the world we go. Kyrie Coates now to the left corner, White. Trying to work inside the paint. Chest pass goes over to Coates. Coates going right baseline. Quick give and go. Good ball movement here. A three-pointer from the left corner. That shot won't fall. Ikpe skyrocketing into the air. And, oh, man, he's called for a foul. Trying to haul in that defensive rebound, and he can't believe it. Tristan Ikpe will pick up his second personal foul. That is the fifth team foul by the Bearcats. Sam Houston leading by five, 20 to 15, 8.29 to go here in this first half of play. Peyton Smith will check back into the ball game for the Islanders as Miles Smith heads over to the bench. And Kean Scroggins will check in for the first time tonight for Tristan Ikpe. So good to see Scroggins out here getting a little early playing time. As the Islanders win bound, 20 on the shot clock, goes up top over to Coates, guarded by Dante Powers. Quick left-handed pass from the chest into the hands of Bertain. Bertain back up top over to White. 
White guarded by Nuttall. Trying to penetrate, now takes a jumper from just behind the free throw line, trying to use the glass, the shot not there. The offensive rebound, though, goes to Coates. Another opportunity here for the Islanders. Shot clock didn't reset, and here comes Lampley gliding through two sets of cheers in front of his bench as, boy, he is fired up. And Coach is wanting that shot clock to get reset, and he's trying to yell at the officials here because the shot clock is showing 14 seconds, and I'm pretty sure that that's uh, maybe what Coach Wilson is talking about right now, and he's not going to get it. So back in action here, 13 on the shot clock, goes up top over to Jalen White. White guarded by Nuttall from that left elbow, down to five on the shot clock, and he pushed him down. It's an offensive foul as Nuttall took the charge. Another turnover by the Islanders, and the Bearcats will have it right back. The charge there by Jalen White. Four turnovers now for Jalen White here in this ball game, and the Bearcats starting to find a little light. As it got close to within one, they've extended it back to five. We'll step aside for one minute. It's 20 to 15 here in Corpus on the Bearcats Sports Network. You've got a problem. Your furnace isn't working. There's a simple fix for that. Well, simple for us. We are McGillberry Mechanical. We've been in business for over 30 years with the best technicians in the industry. And friendly too. We guarantee complete precision tune-up, which will reduce your annual repair costs. Want to save money? Call McGillberry Mechanical. 936-291-2640. Because we care about your comfort. Oh no, it's tax season again? What am I going to do? Tax Express and Huntsville can help. Tax Express can handle my taxes? Are you sure? Heck yeah! Tax Express can handle personal, small business, and farm taxes. They can even do your payroll. Tax Express can do it all. Contact my Nana at Tax Express. Don't let your taxes stress you out. The professionals at Tax Express can prepare them for you. See them online at TaxExpressHuntsville.com. That's TaxExpressHuntsville.com. Pleasant good afternoon, friends. Welcome back, or a pleasant good evening, rather. 7.33 the time here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Bearcats leading the Islanders 20-15 to here at American Bank Center. I'm Rob Pip, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Tony Kulak joining us back in Huntsville saying, eat them up, cats. Good to see you on the broadcast tonight on the social media streams. By the way, if you're listening on the radio, you can always go to the KSAM Facebook page and also on our YouTube page and just search for Sam Houston men's basketball. You'll see a special video presentation. It's called In the Booth. And for those of you that would like to see it, you just get to see some of the behind the scenes look is how it looks as I call the game. Now, of course, we can't do video of the game, but it is the In the Booth broadcast exclusively on our social media pages. Make sure to like the Facebook uh, page there for KSAM. Carlos Zimmerman also joining us. Appreciate Carlos, loving this game so far, going for 7-0 tonight in the South and eat them up, Cats. Carlos, appreciate you joining us. Uh, Carlos helping us also at KSAM as the voice of Huntsville girls basketball alongside Jordan Smith. There it in Huntsville ISD, Emily O'Rear saying hello. Appreciate you, Emily, as well. Back in action here. Bearcats have it leading 20 to 15. 7.53 to go here in the first. It's Bryce Monroe over to the right wing. Hands it off over to Nuttall with a left-handed dribble. Now the pass to Dante Powers. Straight away, high screen, Kean Scroggins. Powers over the right wing. Shakes to the left. Now fakes back over to the right. Handoff pass goes to Bryce Monroe. Monroe turning on those Jets left side. There it is. Call NASA as Bryce Monroe turning on the Rockets here tonight. That's what we like to see from Bryce Monroe with his first basket. It's 22 to 15. Bearcats extending back that lead now. Islanders have it back on the right side. Quickly over to the left elbow, trying to spin around inside is DeLazarius Keys. He'll hand this one off to Bertain. Bertain trap now drops it off over to the left corner, Smith. Smith trying to work the baseline. Bounce pass goes down to Coates. Back over to Smith for three. This one good at the bottom of the net. It's actually Peyton Smith nailing that three. 22 to 18, and Bearcats holding on to the four-point advantage here. 6.55 to go. It's Lampley back over to the left corner to Dante Powers. Back up top, Lampley, right wing, Nuttall. A couple of right-handed dribbles, now working the right baseline, and he has pushed a foul there called and not in the act of shooting. Uh, the foul, I believe it's going to go against Kyrie Coates. It is on Kyrie Coates. That is his first personal and the seventh team foul. So the Bearcats now in the bonus. Zach Nuttall here for a one and one from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. The first one on the way and it's good. You know, the Bearcats now a perfect four for four from the charity stripe here so far 
tonight. That has been a high point for them, something that they've struggled at times, but taking care of business here from the free throw line tonight. Not on the way. The second Charlie's used cars. Free throw is good. 24 to 18. That's one thing the Bearcats have needed to work on, and tonight so far taking care of business. The turnovers have been a problem. They have eight already here in this first half. It's Peyton Smith with the ball, guarded by Monroe. Over to the right wing, it is Fryer, but a dead ball whistle here. And a foul here called against Kean Scroggins. That is his first personal and the sixth team foul. So one more foul by the Bearcats. We'll put the Islanders in the bonus with 6.34 to go here in the first half. Inbound pass for the Islanders over the left corner into the hands of Fryer. Fryer working the baseline. Jumper good off the left side of the glass. Fryer able to find a little bit of light here, and the Bearcats back with it. Holding on to a four-point advantage, 24-20. It's Dante Powers. Bounce pass over to Scroggins. He'll take a long two. This one rattles in and out. No good. It was a good look by Scroggins. Just wouldn't fall. Like to see him get involved, though, and build his confidence as this season continues. We're on the right wing, trying to drive in here. It's Fryer with Scroggins in his face, and somehow drops that one in. Now Simeon Scroggins finding some rhythm here. It's only a two-point advantage now for Sam Houston. Simeon Fryer making three of his last four shots. Demarcus Lampley's been the hot hand here for Sam Houston. He's still on the court. He's made four of his last five. Got to find a way to get Lamp the ball. It's Monroe at the top over to Dante Powers on the left wing. Back up top, Lamp. It's turned over. Lampley, though, trying to get back on defense, skedaddling through and dropping it in. Good for Simeon Fryer. And we are tied up at 24 apiece just like that. Sam Houston going to take a timeout. We'll take it with him for 30 seconds. We are tied at 24 with 5.37 to go here in the first on the Bearcat Sports Network. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up and see how healthy your gut can feel. Align contains a quality probiotic strain developed by gastroenterologists. It adds more good bacteria to your gut to naturally help soothe your occasional digestive upsets with continued daily usage. This is the time to join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Sign up at alignprobiotics.com. We're tied 24 apiece, 5.37 to go here in Corpus Christi, Texas. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcat Sports Network live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. Appreciate Ty Copeland. The Bearcats have got to find some life here. So far, the free throw is really keeping them in this ball game. But Texas A&M Corpus on a 6-0 run over the last minute 10 and going back even farther over two minutes, they're on a 9-2 run, making four of their last five shots. Bearcats come out of the timeout. They have the ball on the far side, moving from right to left. It's Bryce Monroe. Handoff over to Powers. Now it is Nuttall on the left wing. Quick chest pass over to Lampley. Thought about a three, retracted. Zings this one over to the right wing. Drop off over to Monroe from Powers. Monroe has it. Step back, straight away three. Bam, got it, baby. It's Bryce Monroe from downtown. Bryce Monroe with a Mokin Moke attorney at law three-pointer, quickly trying to get back on defense. And this one knocked around. Bearcats on the court. Powers has it. That's the defensive effort resulting in the turnover. Back to Monroe. Here's Powers on the right wing. Takes a couple of left-handed dribbles, wants to penetrate inside, backtracks. Now in front of the free throw line, finds Scroggins. Scroggins takes a dribble, turnaround jumper too short here for Kean. And the ball goes right back to Texas A&M Corpus. 27-24, Bearcats leading by three after that moke and moke. Attorney at law three-pointer just moments ago by Monroe. Here is Peyton Smith for Texas A&M Corpus, feeding down to the paint. Trying to back down a defender is Perry Francois. Turn around, jumper off the front of the rim. Good defense there by Scroggins. And the ball goes into the hands of Monroe. He'll turn on the Jets again. Swings this one over to Lampley. He'll pump fake once. Takes a corner three. This shot too strong. Rebound, Scroggins. Back to Monroe. 18 on the shot clock. Didn't reset here. Now it is Nuttall. He'll fade inside from the paint. Drops the jumper. Good for Zach Nuttall. An offensive rebound leading to a basket here for Sam Houston, leading by five, 29-24, four minutes to go here in the first half. Back over to a &M Corpus, into the hands of Fryer, now left wing, long two. This one partially blocked by Nuttall as Smith tried to jack one up. Here's Lampley off the right side. Yes, he's good off the right side of the glass. Demarcus Lampley taking care of business. Sam Houston on a 7-0 run as uh, they're pulling away here again, 31-24. Missed shot back the other way by a &M Corpus. It's the Bearcats on the left corner. Zach Nuttall for three. The shot takes a bounce, won't fall. Scroggins trying to fight for it. 
And Scroggins charged for a foul here. As Coach Hoot not too happy there with Zach Nuttall on that play. And that will take us to a media timeout. 31-24, 329 to go here in the first half. Bearcats holding on to a seven-point advantage. We'll be back in a minute right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Free COVID 19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID 19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID 19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. 3.29 to go here in the first half. Bearcats by 7, 31 to 24. Welcome back, friends. I'm Rob Hip here live from American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas, from the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast booth. Sam Houston shooting 45%, 11 to 24 here in this first half. They are only 4 of 13 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line but a perfect five of five from the Charlies that use cars at free throw line. As the Bearcats, this thing got tied up just a few moments ago, but they went on a run here, and Sam Houston able to pull a little bit of separation again by seven, 31 to 24. On the flip side for a and Corpus, 10 of 23 from the field. They're shooting just under 44%, two of six from downtown, two of four from the charity stripe. Bearcats, though, they have turned it over way too many times here in this first half. 10 turnovers, only six for a and Corpus. Both teams scoring 12 in the paint. Five points off the bench for Sam Houston. Twelve points, uh, I beg your pardon, off the bench for AM Corpus. Got to keep an eye on a couple of players here for AM Corpus as Perry Francois has started to find some rhythm, and it's really also been Nolan Bertain and accompanied by Peyton Smith. But coming out of this media timeout, timeouts here coming up for Perry Francois. Just talked about him moments ago. He averages 10 points a game, uh, only a 46% free throw shooter, though. So Perry Francois standing here. The official's talking things over, and Francois will now step up to that free throw line here on the right side. Long arms on this young man. He'll take a right-handed free throw shot on this front. No good, but the rebound goes right back to Texas A&M Corpus. That's an area Sam Houston has gotten better at, but not so far tonight, as they haven't been able to haul in some of these rebounds that have been critical. Over to Smith. On the right wing, double teamed on a 2-3 zone. That'll leave one open on the right corner, but the Bearcats quickly able to retract. Here's a left wing three. This shot won't fall for Fryer. Back into the hands of Nuttall. Bearcats wanting to run here. Leading by seven. Bounce pass down low to Manny Crump. Off the right side. Oh, Crump working the paint, baby. And he's got the shot off the right side of the glass. 33-24. Bearcats. Leading here by nine, working off the left baseline. Oh, Dante Powers knocking it around. And Sam Houston gets the call, and it will go to the Bearcats. Great job again. We have seen the effort tonight by Dante Powers. He was on the Coach Jason Hooten radio show just a couple of weeks ago. Had an opportunity to catch up with that junior, and he has been a force on this team. We talk about so many players on this Bearcat team that has made it so special this year is that when other players aren't finding rhythm, other players find a way to step up. And tonight we have seen some good plays here by Dante Powers. Again, some of this stuff won't show up on the stat sheet. He's only got three points in 14 minutes. Uh, but he has been a defensive force down there, causing a lot of pressure. Bearcats back with it on the left side. It's to Zach Nuttall on the right wing. Right-handed dribble, puts it on the court, flips it up. This shot, good and one for Zach Nuttall. Another strong effort by Nuttall. Inside, he'll be rewarded at that Charlie's used car free throw line. So Zach Nuttall here with... Lead eight points in this ball game. A perfect four of four from the Charlie's used car free throw line. And he'll have an opportunity here to drop another one in. Turned it over once tonight. Played in 16 minutes. And only two of eight from the field. But trying to get it done here. The end one on the way. Yes, good for Zach Nuttall. And the Bearcats a perfect six of six now from that free throw line. And they've got... 
their largest lead now of 12, 36-24, as the Bearcats on a 12-0 run over the last three minutes. Here's a straightaway three by the Islanders. This shot won't fall. And a whistle here and a foul called on the rebound attempt by Manny Crump. So the foul will go on Manny Crump. That's the, well, we're seeing here is Manny Crump got called for the foul. Just wanted to make sure we had the numbers right here. Manny Crump again called for that foul. And Manny Crump there with his first personal, the 18 foul. The front end of the one and one is good for Texas A&M Corpus Keys. So have another opportunity here. Keys makes the first one. I'm going to put a little bit of a stop to this drought as A&M Corpus has only made one of their last six shots. The next free throw on the way. This one rattles in and out no good. And Bearcats able to hold on to a rebound there, thankfully, because Kyrie Coates knocked it around. Manny Crump was able to find that one and get it back to his teammate Powers. Powers crossing the half-court line, right-handed dribble over to Nuttall, white wing, he is guarded by Fryer. He'll take a three. This one bounces out, won't fall. Javion May down there with the rebound. The putback is no good as the pressure was brought there by DeLazarius Keys. And now a &M Corpus wanting to run. It's Lampley knocking it out of bounds. And we'll see if it is out of bounds or if it's a foul against Demarcus Lampley. Oh, it's a foul against Lamp as he went up too high. So DeMarcus Lampley charged with the foul as he went over the back. That is the first personal by Lamp and the 19 foul. So, of course, that will send Texas A&M Corpus back to the line here. Jared Cook heading over to the scorer's table. 36-24 the score with 1.56 to go here in the first half from Corpus Christi. And again, back at the line here is Simeon of Fryer, a 70% free throw shooter. So Fryer again back at the line here for Texas A&M Corpus. So far tonight, Fryer in double digits already with 10 points. His first time at the charity stripe here tonight. He'll take a couple of right-handed free throws, spins it in his left hand, the right-handed front end on the way and good. He's rewarded and get another opportunity. A lot of friends again joining us tonight here on social media. Ken Holland earlier saying let's get a big road win. Appreciate you, Ken. And a Logan Treadway saying, loving the face shield. Hey, got to wear it, Logan. Got to wear it. Second free throw on the way off the right hand. This one bounces in and good. Gets that hometown roll for Fryer here at American Bank Center. Not all to inbound. Finds JB on May. Has a little bit of pressure here in the backcourt by Corpus. Now they'll backtrack. Not all crossing the I Islanders logo at center court at the top of it. Over to the left wing, handoff to May, now to Dante Powers. Powers two dribbles quick, back to Lampley, give and go. Down low, Crump, he traveled. Manny Crump took one extra step. It was good ball movement by the Cats, but just one too many steps by Manny Crump. So Sam Houston, although they're holding on to a 36 to 27 advantage with 140 to go, they just have not really found rhythm tonight like we've seen this season. Although when things got tied up, they did go on a run. And just do not want to allow this Islander team to skedaddle their way back into this one. They can do it quietly. It's Coates on the left wing. Drops this one over to Keys on the left corner. Now working. Takes a hot step inside the paint. Turnaround jumper no good. Bodies going everywhere. And a foul called against Manny Crump. That is the second personal. And two shots coming up here as the Islanders now in the double bonus. Wouldn't have mattered anyways because Key was in the act of shooting. So again, to Lazarius Keys. So last keys will shoot two here. Coming into this game, he's only six of seven from the free throw line, 86% shooter, and Keys makes the first one. We'll get the scoreboard updated for you on social media. 36-28 the score, 125 to go here in the first half. As Dylan Robertson for the Bearcats checks in for the first time tonight, it's Robertson, Lampley, Nuttall, and May down there in the key. Second free throw too short, Nuttall pokes it away. He's got it in his right hand, quick pass in the backcourt over. Two powers. Powers guarded here by Eden Davis, who checked in moments ago. Over the left wing, working a right-handed dribble. Bounce pass to the top to Nuttall. Nuttall swings it over off the right side to the right wing to Powers. Powers at the top, finds Nuttall. He'll take a three from the wing. This one won't fall. Boy, Nuttall cannot find him. The offensive rebound, though, tipped by Robertson over to Nuttall. Nuttall traveled here. He extended too far. Nuttall was trying to drive inside, thought about going up in the paint, and then he just turned it over. As he took one extra step, Nuttall got trapped down there and then was trying to find a teammate before that other foot 
unfortunately hit the deck, was not able to get rid of it. 36-28, one minute straight up to go here in the first half. Sam Houston holding on to the lead here. Other friends joining us tonight, Miss Emily O'Rear, appreciate you. Emily, and all she does in the uh, Huntsville community as well. Thank you, Emily, for joining us tonight. Islanders have it back, 53 seconds to go. Bodies hitting the floor, no fouls are called here. Miles Smith has it on the right wing, guarded by Powers. The Islanders trying to find something. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Go down low to the paint to Coates. He'll flip it up, right side shot, no. Oh, it took a bounce and fell in. There's about a five-second differential from the shot clock and play clock, so the Bearcats will have to get one shot off. The Islanders will have an opportunity for the last shot. So Sam, of course, going to run some clock down here. Nuttall has it standing just in front of the half-court marker, way out top of the uh, I logo, standing on where it says Christie of the Texas A&M Corpus Christi lettering. Crossing over, five seconds on the clock. Nuttall almost loses the handle. Three on the clock. He'll take a jumper, flips it up left side. That shot no good. Oh, the putback is there by Dylan Robertson. Two seconds on the clock. One, a long three, no whistle as Coates hit the deck. And the Bearcats will head into the locker room with an eight-point advantage, 38-30 to 30 here in Corpus Christi. Stay with us, friends, as we'll break down the first half and much more on the Bearcats Sports Network. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. They've got the pizza with that fresh made taste to put a smile on your face. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. When you need a break, they got the right food, and it's a really great place. Are you looking for a part-time job? Maybe you're a college student in need of cash. Well, now is your chance. Double Dave's is hiring for delivery drivers. Must be 18 years old and have had your license for two years. Apply online or in person today. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. They've got the pizza with that fresh made New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. The Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment Gear and Clearance Sale is going on now on all lawnmowers. All sizes, all models, all must go. Thousands in savings. Prices so low you don't want to miss this year in clearance sale on all Toro zero-turn mowers. Yanmar tractors and excavators. Gravely zero-turn mowers. And country clipper mowers. The best customer service and best products in Huntsville. 936-294-0282. Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment serving Huntsville and the surrounding areas. Open six days a week. Right across from McCoy's on Highway 75 South. Sale ends January 31st, 2021. This is Kevin with Beckham & Jones Heating and Air Conditioning. Winter is here, so if you haven't had your heater checked, call us at 936-295-9173 and we will make sure your heater is running safe and efficient. Also, if someone in your home is suffering from allergies, we can install indoor air quality products such as air purifiers, media filters, UV lights, dehumidifiers, and more. Give us a call today at 936-295-9173 and make sure your home is healthy and comfortable. Your neighbor since 1946. Now that's Beckham & Jones. License number TACLA 260796. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weezer Hyundai? To get a real deal! How about a 2020 Hyundai Elantra SE or Venue SEL? Your choice, 14888 or 0% for 60 months. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL 19888 or 0% for 72 months. How about a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SE only 28888 or 0% for 72 months? Exit 87B Wilson Road in Conroe or WeezerHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative is focused on you, our consumer members. That's why we work day in and day out to keep your electricity costs affordable. In fact, our recent power costs are some of the lowest in the past decade. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative, your trusted source for power and information. 
Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up and see how healthy your gut can feel. Align contains a quality probiotic strain developed by gastroenterologists. It adds more good bacteria to your gut to naturally help soothe your occasional digestive upsets with continued daily usage. This is the time to join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up from the number one doctor recommended probiotic brand. Sign up at alignprobiotics.com. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. You've got a problem. Your furnace isn't working. There's a simple fix for that. Well, simple for us. We are McGillberry Mechanical. We've been in business for over 30 years with the best technicians in the industry. And friendly, too. We guarantee complete precision tune-up, which will reduce your annual repair costs. Want to save money? Call McGillberry Mechanical. 936-291-2640. Because... We care about your comfort. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. All right, friends, 9.43 to go here at halftime. I'm Rob Hip, live in Corpus Christi, Texas, from the American Bank Center, where it's the Bearcats leading the Islanders 38 to 30. You know, friends, with Sam Houston and that whack announcement, the Western Athletic Conference announcement just a few weeks ago, uh, this may be the last time, of course, in conference play that uh, we'll face this team. And so it is uh, always a lot of fun to be here in Corpus. Uh, of course, really not much time for fun. This year, not able to travel with the team, so I drove myself. But it's all business when we come down here. These players are trying to have that business mind as well. But it's been a little bit of a struggle, to be honest, here for Sam Houston. Uh, against a Islander team that is 0-3, but you can't ever let records fool you as the Islanders have had a tough schedule this season. We talked about in the pregame earlier uh, several cancellations. They were supposed to play at Arlington Baptist or, or hosting Arlington Baptist. That didn't happen. A uh, Paul Quinn game was canceled. Also, the Texas game was canceled. Texas ranked number 10 back on December or the 29th. That game got canceled. And so the games after that, they've all been on the road to open Southland Conference. They didn't start Southland Conference play, by the way, until January the 13th. It was a loss at Southeastern Louisiana, 76-63, to a loss at New Orleans, 87-68, to and a loss at Incarnate Word, 72-53. to Sam Houston on the flip side, uh, they're looking strong as far as conference play goes, entering tonight, uh, taking care of the conference record at 6-0, and 12-5 overall. Sam Houston didn't have a good go of it either to start this season as they played uh, several teams that, at that time, you know, said, hey, these teams could be in the top 25. And with losses to start the road, three of them in a row at SMU, at Texas Tech, and then versus Boise State. Then that Arlington Baptist game for Sam Houston was canceled. And then finally got on the winning streak, hosting Dallas Christian. Also Howard Payne, also Letourneau. All three of those victories, by the way, over 100 points. And then losing two in a row at LSU, at Texas. And then things turning around for Sam Houston. They have not lost since December the 19th, so well over a month and a half now. That first victory of this current nine-game winning streak started hosting Rice with an 82-69 victory. Uh, that was followed up on the road at UT Rio Grande Valley, 69-66. The Bearcats did it again, over 100 points, a 101-59 victory hosting Mary Harden Baylor. And then straight win so far through the month of January at Nichols, at Southeastern State, at Central Arkansas. So you start three games on the road, all victories for the Cats, and then three at home, hosting Lamar, hosting Houston Baptist, and then that matchup that a lot of folks had an asterisk on, not in a bad way, but an asterisk on saying, is this Bearcat team for real? Well, I think they made a good proving point 
as they faced Abilene Christian, a very tough team. At that time, uh, they were ranked, I believe, 12th in the College Insider Top 25 mid-major poll. Sam Houston entering that game ranked 19th. It was a 64-57 victory for this men's team. That takes us to today, the 27th here at Corpus Christi. Two on the road, of course, here today, and then another big one coming up at Stephen F. Boston to end the month on the 31st. Of course, we'll have that call as well on Sunday. That was originally a doubleheader with the women's playing on Saturday and the men's on Saturday as well, but that got split up, and the women will play on Saturday. The men will play on Sunday, so we'll have that call on Sunday at 3 o'clock from Nacogdoches. 6.18 to go here at halftime. For now, though, I'll step aside, take a break. When I come back, we'll look at the first half of this ball game. Bearcats leading the Islanders 38-30. We'll be back in a few moments here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Join the Align Healthy Gut team up and see how healthy your gut can feel. Align contains a quality probiotic strain developed by gastroenterologists. It adds more good bacteria to your gut to naturally help soothe your occasional digestive upsets with continued daily usage. This is the time to join the Align Healthy Gut team up from the number one doctor recommended probiotic brand. Sign up at alignprobiotics.com. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphaderalabs.com. That's alphaderalabs.com. Welcome back, friends. 4.30 to go here at halftime. Bearcats leading by eight as the Bearcats making their way back onto the court now with Coach Hooten behind him as he's trying to get his team fired up, giving high fives to all of his players, giving them a pat on the back. This is a coach that's passionate. He loves these guys and coaches them, and we hear from him every Monday, of course, at 6.30 at True Texas Barbecues. So come out and join us for that for the Jason Hooten Radio Show. It's a lot of fun. We get to talk to Coach Hooten. We also get to hear from players and hear not just their basketball stories, but their life stories. It's a lot of fun, and it's our commitment to Sam Houston State University and Sam Houston Athletics to make sure that we're showcasing these athletes and the hard work that they do. Well, talking about first-half stats, again, Sam Houston leading 38-30 to here in Corpus tonight. They shot 14-31 of from the field at 45%, only 4-15 of from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line. That puts them at just under 27 points. Entering into this ballgame, Sam Houston fourth in the Southland, shooting 38%, so they're just uh, about 12% below their three-point average. They were, though, a perfect six of six from that Charlie's Juice Cars free throw line in the first half of play. Leading all scores for Sam Houston and really trying to find some life as three players are in double digits. Zach Nuttall with 11, but he was only two of 11 from the field. 0 of 6 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-point line, but a perfect 5 of 5 from the Charlie's used car free throw line. Uh, that's where the 11 points came from. Two other teammates in double digits. Tristan Ikpe, 2 of 2 from the field in uh, 10 points for him. And then, of course, also Dante Powers, who was a spark early in this ball game. Only one of two. Uh, that one of them from the downtown. Again, though, 10 points here tonight for Dante Powers. And, uh, again, I'm not sure really how he got up to 10 points. Some of the field goals are missing here for Dante because you can't shoot one of two and have 10 points. So there uh, is a little bit missing there. Let me go back and read this. I, you know what, friends? Let's step, I'm going to keep it right here. Here's what happened. Let me retract. There was a, a column here that was wrong. There is actually only one player in double digits for Sam Houston. So, Ignore everything I just said. 13 points tonight for Demarcus Lampley. Five of eight from the field for Demarcus Lampley. Two of five from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. Lampley is the only one in double digits. He has been the spark tonight. And then behind him, nine points for Zach Nuttall and Bryce Monroe with five. So again, my apologies on that. I was reading the wrong column here. 
Uh, we normally don't get stats at halftime, and I haven't gotten them this year on paper. I usually read them off the screen, so it's kind of nice to have that. I just forgot how to read them for a second, so my apologies on that. As far as AM Corpus, they're shooting 11 of 26 from the field, 42%, 2 of 8 from downtown, 6 of 11 from free throw land. Leading all scores for the Corpus Christi Islanders is Simeon of Fryer, 5 of 8 from the field, 0 of 1 from the three point line, 2 of 2 from the charity stripe. Sam Houston, though, they've got to do a better job holding on to the ball. They have turned it over 13 times, only nine turnovers for AM Corpus, 18 points in the paint for the Bearcats. They've only had four second chance points, five points off fast breaks, and only nine points off the bench. Really, if you look at things uh, tonight for Sam Houston, it's the points off turnovers and those free throws giving them a little bit more separation. They have 13 points off of those eight AM Corpus turnovers. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. When we come back, it's the start of the second half. Again, Bearcats leading 38 to 30 over the Islanders. We'll be back in a moment here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. They've got the pizza with that fresh meat. Taste and put a smile on your face. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. When you need a break, they got the right of food and it's a really great place. Are you looking for a part-time job? Maybe you're a college student in need of cash. Well, now is your chance. Double Dave's is hiring for delivery drivers. Must be 18 years old and have had your license for two years. Apply online or in person today. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. We've got the pizza with that fresh made taste to put a smile on. All right, friends, second half about to get started. I'm Rob Hip, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. We're here at American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. Other games going on the Southland tonight with 5.15 to go in the ball game. Uh, New Orleans at Northwestern State. Northwestern State holding on to a five-point advantage, 66-61. to McNeese is on the road at Nichols, trailing 39-41, to 15-57. That one just underway in the second. Also another game pretty much just underway in the second. Houston Baptist in San Antonio at Incarnate Word. They've got the advantage right now. Houston Baptist leading 43-35. to Of course, in this one, Sam Houston 38, Texas A&M 30. And then just underway in Abilene, Stephen F. Austin at Abilene. Christian eyes are going to be on that game tonight. Stephen F. Austin with a one-point advantage, 10-9 to in that ball game. And then another one on ESPN Plus starting at 8 o'clock. It is... Central Arkansas at Southeastern Louisiana. So, again, eyes are going to be on that SFA and Abilene Christian game. We are back in action here, though, in Corpus Christi, Texas. And to start things here in the second half, it is the Islanders. They've got the ball over on the left side, now moving from right to left in their white jerseys, white shorts, the numbers in blue outlined in green. The turnaround jumper to start things is good for Laz Keys. So Lazarius Keys picking up an early two points here to start this ball game, a six-point advantage for Sam Houston. With 30 seconds gone here in the second half. On the right side, it's Nuttall. Nuttall over two powers on the left wing. Now it's Nuttall back at the top of the three. Ikpe was trying to set a high screen instead of giving go over to Ikpe, trying to trace inside the paint. Turn around, jumper too strong, no good. Good defense there by Last Keys to haul that one back down. Goes into the back to Peyton Smith. Smith at the eye of the Islander logo, moving from right to left. Over to the left side now, inside the left wing. Straight away, the pass goes over to Smith. Now to the right wing, into the hands of Jalen White. White inside the paint, has to kick it out. Three-pointer here, good for Peyton Smith. So five quick points here for the Islanders to start this second half. That's exactly how they wanted to start. The Bearcats have got to find some rhythm here. It is Demarcus Lampley on the left baseline. Smith knocks it away, and it goes out of bounds off Lampley. Lampley saying, my bad. Another turnover here by Sam Houston. We talked about their struggles in that first half as they committed 13 turnovers. And unfortunately picking up right where they left off in that first half of play. The Islanders back with it here, only trailing by three now. 38-35, 18-30 to go here in this Dakery BB Abbey Realty second half. This ball stripped though, it's Nuttall. One on two, Nuttall. Gonna see if he drives in here and an offensive foul against Zach Nuttall as he was going too quickly and Miles Smith was easily able to read that and he takes the charge. And that's a turnover, it is the second personal foul on Zach Nuttall. That turnover will give the ball right back to Texas A&M Corpus. Sam Houston has not scored coming out of the gate yet. 140 away here in this second half of play. And still, again, trying to find something to go off the glass. 
18-26 to go, 38-35 your score. As the Islanders inbounding on the right side, under the Bearcats basket over to the far side into the hands of Simeon Fryer. He had a solid first half of play here. The Bearcats gonna try to slow him down as Fryer had 12 in that first half. Turn around jumper here inside the paint, no good for Keys. rebound to Lampley. Lampley on the far side pushing to Nuttall. Nuttall now at the top of the three, rotating over the left wing. Still has his dribble on the right hand over to Lampley. Lampley calling for Powers. High screen, Ikpe. Lampley, or back to Powers. Now Ikpe inside, flips it up. Yes, good. There's a good assist there by Dante Powers over to Ikpe. And now Powers guarding Smith, who hit that three just a few moments ago. As Powers trying to reach around here, Smith working out of it. On the left elbow, picks up his dribble. He'll find White wide open, flips this one up. Right side, good and one. Tristan Ikpe trying to take the charge instead, going to be called with a blocking foul and an and one opportunity coming up here for the Islanders. The second team foul of this Dakri Beebe Abbey Realty second half. An opportunity here to pull it to within two. Again, out the line for the and one, Jalen White, the leading scorer on the team, who averages 11 points a game. He'll take his time here on the left side, bends his knees, the right-handed free throw shot on the way and good at the bottom of the net. A two-point advantage for Sam Houston, 40-38, to 17-35 to go here in this Dakry Beebe Abbey Realty second half. Powers drops it off to Lampley on the right wing. Now over to Powers on the right corner, back over to Ikpe. Takes a left-handed dribble, picks up, and now swings it over to Nuttall. Driving inside, floating the shot, no good. JV on May trying to fight for the rebound, and Tristan Ikpe with the defense, knocking it off of Peyton Smith as it was going out of bounds. 19 seconds on the shot clock, 17-18 to go here in the second half. Bearcats holding on to that two-point advantage, 40-38. As Powers inbounding on the right baseline. Over to Ikpe, way up top. Lampley trying to turn the lights on. Oh, flip the switch. It's to Marcus Lampley from that Mocha and Mocha turning it law three-point line. Boy, they needed a three, and Lampley gave it to him. 43-38. Bearcats extend it back to five. Three minutes gone, 17 to go here in this Dakri BB Abbey Realty second half. Into the hands of Keys on the right wing. Spin it around to White. White, boy, they wanted to travel, didn't get it. Now a left corner three. This one good. Wanted the travel, didn't get it. Simeon Fryer able to nail that three-pointer. And Coach Hooten is livid with no travel call. 43-41 the score. And cleaning up a little bit of moisture down here. Coach Hooten also talking to his players. He may be yelling at the players down there saying, guys, you got to pay attention to this over here. He's passionate, wants his guys to know that they've got to get their head in this game. 43-41, 16-47 to go here in the second. A little bit of an extended timeout here. They were cleaning up some moisture on that left side. Nuttall to inbound over to Powers. The bounce pass back to Nuttall. And Nuttall. Walking his way into the front court on the far side. Swings it over to Powers on that right wing. Powers trying to cross over, back over to Ikpe. Ikpe from the right baseline, feeds it down over. Nuttall has it for three. This one, oh, it won't rattle in and fall. May trying to get the rebound, it goes out of bounds off May. My goodness, Zach Nuttall has just had misfortune tonight as that ball again was halfway down the cylinder and it popped right out on the three-pointer. 43-41, score remains, 16-25 to go as the Bearcats have only made one of their last six from that Moke and Moke attorney at law three-pointer. Lampley, though, still hot as he's made four of his last five. Here's the Islanders back off the left side, and they've tied it up. Last Keys tied it up on a layup, 43-43. It's been tied before the Bearcats have been able to find their way out of it. We'll see if they can do it here. Nuttall over to Powers. Powers drops it off over to Lampley on the left wing. Lampley right-handed dribble takes a long two-pointer. This shot won't fall. Fighting in for the rebound as Ikpe flips it over to Nuttall. Wow, what a play. Nuttall a long two. This one won't fall for Zach. Just cannot find the basket tonight. That ball has not been generous to that young man. And here's an opportunity for the Islanders to take the lead. The shot, though, is partially blocked. It goes back to the Bearcats. It is Dante Powers on the near side with the right-handed dribble now on the right wing. He'll bounce his way from the right side. Spins around, it's dropped, finds a glancing Zach Nuttall inside, and he didn't get the and one. 
boy. He did not get it. The shot fell in. I don't believe they gave him the end one. Free throws are coming up, though. When we come back, the Bearcats an opportunity to break this tie at 43 apiece, 15.30 to go. We'll step aside for a minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. New years and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. Where we are, home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Welcome back, friends. A pleasant good evening. I'm Rob Pip, live here in Corpus Christi, Texas, the American Bank Center from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. Second half brought to you by Daiquiri Beebe, Abbey Realty. It's Huntsville's real estate expert, Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Also, our good friends, Moak and Moak Attorneys at Law for your estate planning, real estate, or business law needs. Ask for Moak and Moak Attorneys at Law. Serving Huntsville since 1971. Charlie's Used Cars customer satisfaction is our number one priority. That's Charlie's Used Cars and also our good friends at True Texas Barbecue. Smoke with Texas Oakwood for up to 14 hours. Barbecue by the plate or pound plus delicious sides like brisket beans, cream corn, potato salad, and coleslaw. That's Texas True Barbecue. And they did not call it in the act of shooting, so the Bearcats will inbound the basketball here. Boy, I thought they were going to shoot freeze. Here's Lampley. That one blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Lampley took a quick pass on the inbound, put that shot up, and it was blocked by, uh, I believe it was Perry Francois. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Bearcats will inbound on the sideline, opposite from us on that far left side. Goes up top, way up top, over to Dante Powers. Powers is guarded by Bertain. On the left wing, Nuttall. Nuttall over the head pass. This one knocked out of bounds. As the AM Corpus jumping up and knocking that one down was Miles Smith. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Bearcats will inbound this one on their own baseline on the right side near the right corner. It's Dante Powers. Powers looking for a teammate. Finds inside, wide open. Igpe left side. Yes, that shot good. Good eye by Dante Powers to Tristan Igpe. The Bearcats regain a two-point advantage, but now a foul called here against Dick Pay. It's the first personal foul by Dante Powers. I believe the second team foul here in the second half. Actually, the third team foul. 45-43, Bearcats by two. 15 minutes to go, we're five away here in the second half. Pass goes down low to Francois. This one knocked away and it's stolen by Lampley. Boy, there's four bodies on the court, two Islanders and two Bearcats. And a whistle and a foul is called here against the Islanders. And that foul gonna go against Nolan Bertain. That is Bertain's first personal, the second team foul by the Islanders here in this Dakar Vivi Abbey Realty second half. The Bearcats, again, every time this game has gotten closer, got tied, the Bearcats have found a way to go on a little bit of run here. They need one right now as they're only ahead by two. 45-43, 14-56 to go again here in the second half. Powers over to Nuttall on the left wing. Nuttall with the left-handed dribble, picks it up, bounce pass goes over to Ikpe near the left corner. Trying to shake a defender. He'll find Powers for three. Yes, he's got it. Dante Powers bringing some power here from downtown on that Moak and Moak attorney at law three-pointer. Just as I said, every time the Bearcats need some separation, they get it. Now the Islanders back the other way. It's Miles Smith trying to find something inside. Can't find it. Over the left wing to Fryer. Fryer trying to put some oil in the skillet here. This one goes back over to the right side. Bounce pass. Shot up and good by Smith. The patience paid off for Miles Smith. 
as he took a couple of steps there and was able to drop it in. Back over to Nutt on the right wing, trying to penetrate through three defenders. Right side no good, but there's Ikpe with the putback. Tristan Ikpe finding some daylight. It's 50 to 45. Islanders trailing by five here. 13.56 to go in the second half. For the left wing, left corner, it is Jalen White. He'll try to go all the way inside. Now the bounce pass knocked away. And it goes out of bounds off of Sam Houston. And boy, the staff, coaching staff next to us, and I kind of agree with them, said no way. That should have been our ball. So the ball will remain with the Islanders into the hands of Nolan Bertain on the baseline. He'll throw it way up high over to Fryer. Fryer on the left wing. Javion May guarding him. May able to knock it away, and he's got the strip and the steal. It's Javion May in the backcourt trying to push the issue to the front court Over the left wing, here's Nuttall. Can he find it? No, it won't fall for Nuttall again. The ball knocked around, and it goes into the hands of Laz Keys. So unfortunate for Zach Nuttall as he is only 2 of 16 from the field tonight. That is not like him. Only nine points tonight. Just has not been able to find the basket one of those nights. JV on May guarding here back on the left side. Fryer back to the left corner in the hands of Miles Smith. He'll take a quick chest pass. Goes right back into the hands of White at the top from the free throw line. Darting his way inside the paint. Off the right side of the glass. No good. Trying to fight for the offensive rebound. It goes off the foot. No, not all. Able to save it to JV on May. Reached around the back. The ball goes out of bounds. And that stays with Sam Houston. Boy, Javion May down there fighting hard. And a little bit of defensive pressure here by the Bearcats, giving them some separation here. 50 to 45, 12 55 to go in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half of play. As Jaron Cook set at the scores table to check in, Cook will check in alongside Manny Crump, Tristan Ikpe, and Zach Nuttall over to the bench. Putin will give Nuttall and Ikpe a little bit of a tap here. It's one of those nights tonight, and you know the Bearcats will find some rhythm. 28 on the shot clock, only two gone. Bearcats to inbound, high pass over to Lampley, and this one knocked around, and it's safe. He goes back to Lampley. He'll take a straightaway three. Oh, there it is, Demarcus Lampley flipping that switch back on again tonight from downtown. Demarcus Lampley with a big three here for the Bearcats from that Mokin Mocha turning at law three-point line. It's 53 to 45. The Islanders back to the left side. Here's a three from the left wing. That shot good for Smith. Boy, he was able to answer. What a shot for receiving a 53-48. The fans are going to get some free food on that one. This one darted over to Lampley. He'll find Cook from the corner for a three. Light the stove, baby, as Jaron's got it cooking from downtown. 56-48. Jaron Cook getting in on that Mokin Moke attorney at law three-point action. Back over here to the left side. It's into the hands of the Islanders. It is Laz Keys. Now a right wing three. The shot no good for Smith. He hit one from the left moments ago. Couldn't connect here. 56-48. Bearcats leading 11-47 to go. Dante Powers. Oh, man. Charged with a foul here. Unbelievable. And Powers hit the deck pretty hard, and he's holding on to his right calf muscle down there. The fans behind us not happy as that was a little bit of a good old Ginobili flop. We're used to those as a Spurs fan, but we'll take a 56-48. Bearcats in the driver's seat, but the Islanders will have the ball when we come back. 11.46 to go here in the Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty. Second half, we'll take one minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. This is Daiquiri BB with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri BB with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. 
The Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment Gear and Clearance Sale is going on now on all lawnmowers. All sizes, all models, all must go. Thousands in savings. Prices so low you don't want to miss this year in clearance sale on all Toro zero-turn mowers. Yanmar tractors and excavators. Gravely zero-turn mowers. And country clipper mowers. The best customer service and best products in Huntsville. 936-294-0282. Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment serving Huntsville and the surrounding areas. Open six days a week. Right across from McCoy's on Highway 75 South. Sale ends January 31st, 2021. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live in Corpus Christi, Texas from the American Bank Center. 56 to 48 Bearcats leading the Islanders here, trying to make it 10 games in a row. I was trying to look through some notes there during that break to see what the longest winning streak for Sam Houston men's basketball is. I'll try to get that as this night goes on. Uh, but right now, as Dante Powers getting tended to, he may just have a little bit of a muscle strain down there on that right calf muscle. As he has played hard tonight, you know, you can cramp up pretty easy, and he is sweating out there tonight, dripping off of him. And, again, I think it's just a muscle cramp. Oh, yeah, you can see it there in that right calf muscle. So, uh, hopefully for him, they'll be able to work that out, and and he can get back in because Dante has been a force here for the Bearcats. They need him in this game. He has brought some much-needed life, and he is getting tended to by the training staff over there as he was able to hobble his way and sit back down. But you can see it visibly. Uh, that right calf muscle is pretty knotted up right now. So, they put some cream on it. They'll try to work it out there, and uh, hopefully Powers will be able to wiggle that one out and get back onto the court before too long. 56-48 the score here. Again, I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us as we're in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. The Islanders to inbound, full 30 on the shot clock, and they will move here from right to left. Again, trailing by eight. Moving into the front court here. you got to watch this young man, Miles Smith, who's had a couple of threes and found some rhythm here in this second half. Over to the left wing, into the hands of Laz Keys. Behind the back dribble from the left elbow. He'll pick it up. Now the chest pass goes over to Smith. Smith at the top, guarded by Manny Crump. Right wing three, shot up good. There he is. Just said it moments ago. you got to watch him as he has been able to find those three-pointers and just nailed another one there on that possession. 56-51, five-point Bearcat advantage. They've got it now back on the right side. Tristan Ickpay has made five of his last six, but he's not out there on the court right now. Here's Manny Crump with a jumper from the right side. That shot no good. Rebound Smith. Smith wanting to push it across half court as he is guarded by the freshman Bryce Monroe. Rotates over the left wing. Now back to the top over the right wing into the hands of White. White, quick dart pass goes to Fryer. And now to the right corner back into the hands of Keys. Keys guarded by Manny Crump. He'll step back, takes a jumper, shot no good. He's fouled. He'll go to the line shooting too. And Coach Hooten's had enough of that. He's going to get Ickpay right back in there. Again, Ickpay, five of his last six shots. So after a breather at the bench, Tristan Ickpay checking back in. Manny Crump called for the foul. That is his third personal foul and the fifth team foul here in this second half by Sam Houston. So it's last Keys at the line here for the Islanders. So far tonight, he's got eight points in 18 minutes. He has not been to the free throw line yet, though. Last Keys entering this contest, only six of seven from the charity stripe. So he doesn't get there often. But it's uh, honestly because he hasn't played a lot of games. He's only played in three games, started in one of those. This is a team that's only played 12 games so far. Sam Houston has played 17 games so far this season. So last keys again at the line. We'll take a couple of dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot, bounces, won't fall. So that time the air conditioner turned on and blew it off the back of the cylinder. Tristan Ickpay will check back into the ball game for Manny Crump. And it is Ickpay down there alongside Jaron Cook, Zach Nuttall, Bryce Monroe also on the court for the Bearcats. Here's the next free throw. This one is good. So. Keys was able to split the pair, 56-52. It's a four-point Sam Houston advantage. Monroe on the right side, double team. Trying to pick up his dribble. He'll find Tristan Ickpay, slings this one over. Cook for two. That was a long two-point shot there and wasn't able to fall from the left side. Here's Miles back the other way, who's been hot. Got to watch him. May have got away with a little bit of a walk. Now a three-pointer wide open. That shot good for Nolan Bertain. He was wide open on that right corner and nailed it. One point Bearcat advantage, things still way too close for comfort here. 56-55, 10-10 to go here in this second half. It's over to Monroe, Monroe has it, trying to work the baseline. He'll flip it up off the left side, high arcing shot, won't fall. The rebound goes to Jalen White. Opportunity here for 
Texas A&M to take the lead. That's something they haven't had in a long time. It's a two-pointer. That's two, and that shot's good. Oh, they gave him three. That was two. His, his foot was on the line, and they gave him three. Wow. I saw it from here. Well, leading by two now. Sam Houston trailing 58-56. Nuttall will swing it over to Monroe. Monroe from the free throw line. He'll take a jump shot too short. Ball bounced around, goes into the hands of Miles Smith. A&M Corpus trying to build upon their lead now. 58-56, and a whistle and a foul called here. And that's going to go on the offensive side against Laz Keys. Surprised if they don't go back and look at that last shot because from here, and I know I had a far shot at it, but it looked like a foot was on the line. And they gave him a three-point shot moments ago. The Islanders leading by two, 58-56, 9.24 to go here in this Jack Graviti, Abby Realty second half. Well, again, I'm telling you, friends, it's tough to come here to AM Corpus. You can never count these guys out, and so far tonight the rim has just not been generous to a few players here at Sam, they've got to find some rhythm here with nine minutes, 22 seconds to go. Inbound pass from Nuttall over to Powers, back to Nuttall at the top. Nuttall trying to work inside the paint. He'll flip this one up, left side. Yes, that shot falls. Zach Nuttall needed something. That may be the spark that he needed to tie this ball game back at 58 apiece. 9.07 to go here in the second half. Back into the hands of Fryer on that left wing. Now at the top, over the head pass. He'll go to Coates. Coates trying to work the left baseline. This one knocked away from behind by Nuttall. It goes to Cook. Cook running quickly, trying to split their two defenders. He'll retreat over to Lampley. Lampley takes a three, way too short. This ball bounced around, but Powers has it on the offensive rebound. 17 seconds on the shot clock as Powers has it on the right wing. Got to move quick here as we're down to 10 seconds on the right wing. Ikpe calling for it down in the post. Ikpe trying to back away. He'll flip it over to Cook. Cook flips it up. Yes, good. Oh, what an assist there by Tristan Ikpe to Jaron Cook, who's lighting the stove again. Put more wood in that stove, baby. 60 to 58, Bearcats by two. And here is a whistle of the dead ball as it goes out in the ball right back to the Bearcats. Talk to him then. Don't look at me. 60 to 58, two-point advantage for the Cats with 8.20 to go here in this second half. It's Dante Powers moving from left to right. He'll cross over his dribble, drops it off to Nuttall. Now the handoff to Lampley, back up to Powers. Powers off the high screen from Ikpe. Tries to swing back around over to Nuttall at the top. Nuttall guarded by Bertain. He'll penetrate inside. Through two defenders. Oh, there it is, Zach Nuttall. Zach finally starting to come alive here in the second. 62 to 58, Bearcats on a 6-0 run here over the last two minutes to regain and extend this lead. And it's over to the Islanders on the left side, trying to find some rhythm is Coates from the right elbow. That shot way up too strong. The rebound knocked around from Ikpe, goes to Powers on the far side. Here come the Cats. It's again Zach Nuttall trying to glide his way inside. This time the shot no good. Simeon Fryer was down there to swat a hand on it. No foul was called down there on Nuttall. The Islanders have it back here on the left side into the hands of Peyton Smith, guarded by Cook. Working a right-handed dribble on the right wing. 7-17 to go here in the ball game. Islanders trailing by four, goes down to the real tall man, Perry Francois. He'll turn around, takes a jumper, shot no good. There's those long reaching arms by Dante Powers to haul in the rebound. Seven minutes to go, four-point advantage, 62-58 here in Corpus. To the hands of Cook, goes back over to Powers on the left wing. Powers back up top to Ikpe to the right wing. Here's Nuttall for three. This one won't fall. Boy, can still not find that three-point line tonight for Zach Nuttall. He is now 0 for 9 from downtown. And back into the hands here of Peyton Smith, who has been hot from three. He'll find Francois trying to work a post inside the semicircle. He goes to the right side. Great defense by Ikpe holding up a hand and Powers wanting to run. He'll go inside the paint, now retreats back to the right wing with a crossover dribble. Ikpe setting the high screen. Powers trying to work around it. Powers inside the paint here. Whistle, dead ball, foul against the Islanders. We'll see who this one is on. There were several down there. That foul is going to go against Perry Francois. That is his first personal and the fourth team foul. That'll take us to a media timeout. 62-58, 6.22 to go here in the Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half. Bearcats have the ball when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Network. 
This is Kevin with Beckham & Jones Heating and Air Conditioning. Winter is here, so if you haven't had your heater checked, call us at 936-295-9173 and we will make sure your heater is running safe and efficient. Also, if someone in your home is suffering from allergies, we can install indoor air quality products such as air purifiers, media filters, UV lights, dehumidifiers, and more. Give us a call today at 936-295-9173 and make sure your home is healthy and comfortable. Your neighbor since 1946. Now that's Beckham & Jones. License number TACLA 26079C. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. All right, friends, welcome back. I'm Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. That's Copeland Family Dentistry. Big shout out to my good buddy who's joining us tonight, Mr. Nathan Height, saying go Cats. Appreciate you, Nathan. Hope all is going well. Also to Mr. Vincent Robertson saying go Cats. Go Dylan from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Hello, Alabama. And hello, Mr. Robertson. Thank you for chiming in here on the broadcast. Appreciate you. And also my beautiful fiance, Bridget Brennan, saying, Go Bearcats. Love you, sweetheart. Thanks for joining us tonight here on the Bearcats Sports Network. 62 58 the score, 622 to go here in Corpus. The Bearcats trying to hold on to a very hard fought contest so far. They're on a 6 0 run over the last three and a half minutes. Before that, though, they were scoreless for about a minute and a half. Got to watch Miles Smith on the Corpus Christi side. He has made three of his last four. That's a young man that I've talked about numerous times. Ikpe, though, is five of his last six. Bearcats will inbound 20 on the shot clock. On the right side, goes over to Nuttall. Top of the three, Nuttall trying to penetrate inside. Left side, oh, there it is. Zach Nuttall coming alive here in the second. As he's finding some rhythm, Zach Nuttall with another field goal off the left side of the glass as he penetrated inside and able to extend this back to a 64-58 to 58 lead. The Bearcats now on an 8-0 run coming late. These are the kind of games that Coach Hooten has talked about where Sam Houston's got to close them out. Now a whistle back the other way and a foul against Sam Houston. Uh, this one here going to go on Jaron Cook. So Jaron Cook will pick up his third personal and the sixth team foul as J.B. on May checking in back in at the scores table. So again, the foul there on Jaron Cook. That's actually his first personal foul. That wasn't the act of shooting, though, and Fryer will go to the line here shooting to the six foot five junior for Texas A&M Corpus, a 70% free throw shooter. This one on the way, and it rolls in and good. So Fryer able to make the first free throw tonight. He is a perfect three of three from the charity stripe. For the Cats, it is Ikpe, Cook, Lampley, Powers on the court. Again for Sam Houston. Next free throw on the way. This one good as well. So he remains perfect now. Four for four from the free throw line. 64 to 60. Bearcats trying to hold on here with 5.50 to go in Corpus. Tristan Ikpe has it on the left wing. Over to Lampley. Top of the three. Bounce pass near the right elbow to Nuttall. He'll work the paint. Right side way too strong. That shot no good. As... Last keys hit the deck. There was no foul on that play. Here's Miles Smith. He'll work inside the paint. Hop step, jumper good. He is hot. Miles Smith has made four of his last five shots. It's only a two-point Bearcat advantage, 64-62. His Powers has it, drops it back off over to Nuttall on the left wing. A handoff here. Here's Jaron Cook for three. The shot won't fall. The rebound in perfect position is last keys. Opportunity here for the Islanders to tie it back up on a field goal. Smith has it at the top of the three. Left-handed dribble, swings it back over as White thought about a three. Over to the left corner now. Can't see who that is down there. There's an official down there in the way. He's flipping it up as Smith. He'll flip this shot up no good. Ikpe has the rebound. Good job by Ikpe to haul in that rebound. Over to Nuttall. Nuttall has it on the right wing. Now back near the top of the three to Jaron Cook as Ikpe was calling for it in the post and not able to find position down there. Here's Inside, Nuttall swinging. This one shot no good. Ikpe trying to bounce around and haul it in, and he can't. And Lampley here, luckily no foul, as Lampley was trying to strip the ball away from Jalen White. we got to watch out. they got to get it across here. Eight seconds, it's already got to go, and now a timeout is called. 
Oh, man. We thought there was eight seconds off the clock, and they didn't get the call here. And a timeout was called just in the nick of time by the Islanders. 64 62, 240 or 425 to go. Things are close here. We'll step aside for 30 seconds on the Bearcat Sports Network. Why are people driving from all over Texas to Weezer Hyundai to get a real deal? How about a 2020 Hyundai Elantra SE or Venue SEL? Your choice, 14888 or 0% for 60 months. Get a 2020 Hyundai Sonata SEL 19888 or 0% for 72 months. How about a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SE only 2888 or 0% for 72 months? Exit 87B Wilson Road in Conroe or WeezerHyundai.com. Check out America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty and the Hyundai Assurance Program today. Beg your pardon, there's... There we go. Sorry about that. We had a uh, audio malfunction up here for a second. 64 to 62 is the score. Bearcats up front by two. 426 to go here in Corpus Christi, Texas tonight. As the Islanders have shown a lot of just battling here against these Bearcats. This is a Sam Houston team that's been on a nine-game winning streak. That on the line here tonight. They're holding a 6-0 lead in the Southland Conference. And this, so far, surprisingly, has been the toughest battle. And I say surprisingly because a lot of people, again, to me not surprisingly, but to a lot of Bearcat fans, you know, they say, hey, we'll come in there, we'll get that win. You're not going to get an easy win here on the road at Texas A&M Corpus. We saw it last year uh, in a loss where A&M Corpus was able to come out of here with a victory on their home court. So Sam Houston got their work cut out for them over this last 426 as they are only shooting – uh, overall in this game, it's not bad, actually. 21 of, well, going back and looking here, 42%, 24 of 56, 48% from the field for AM Corpus. Uh, tonight, though, the Bearcats, uh, again, this has been their toughest test. Jacob Lemons joining us tonight on social media saying, yo, buddy, good to hear from you, Jacob. Hope all is going well uh, back in Central Texas, my friend. Good to hear from you. So as we come out of this timeout again in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half, 64-62, 426 to go on the court for Sam Houston. It is Ikpe Lampley, the freshman Monroe, Dante Powers, and Javion May. The Islanders will inbound here. 18 seconds and ticking on the shot clock into the backcourt. Now pushing into the front court is Miles Smith. As Bryce Monroe guarding him, Smith has been hot. Got to watch him. Smith trying to work off a high screen from the left baseline. He rattles that shot in easily. Boy, he cannot be denied tonight. Miles Smith is making shots at will. Bryce Monroe bringing it to the front court. We're tied 64 piece, four minutes to go here in this second half. Monroe up top over to Powers. Powers guarded by Fryer. He picks up his dribble. Now to the left, the right wing goes to Ikpe. Back up top over to Lampley with nine seconds on the shot clock. Lampley trying to penetrate inside. He'll swing through defenders. A shot up, no good. And Lampley picked up the blocking foul. He'll go to the line, shooting two. That foul is on Laz Keys. That is his fourth personal and the fifth team foul. That'll take us to another timeout here. We'll step aside for 30 seconds, 64 apiece. We're tied. Bearcats shooting free throws from that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line when we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative is focused on you, our consumer members. That's why we work day in and day out to keep your electricity costs affordable. In fact, our recent power costs are some of the lowest in the past decade. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative, your trusted source for power and information. All right, friends, welcome back here. 64 apiece we are. I'm Rob Pip in Corpus Christi, Texas. The Bearcats have had a very tough test here so far tonight against this very capable Islander team. Again, we're all tied up at 64 apiece and leading all scores for AM Corpus Christi. I've mentioned this young man's name several times. It's Miles Smith, and he is really starting to find his rhythm in the second half of play alone. Miles Smith so far, again, as I just mentioned a few moments ago, 29 minutes with 14 points here in this ball game. So keep an eye out on him. He has had the hot hand as he has made three of his last four shots. Also, last keys not to be outdone, three of his last four. Ikpe for the Bearcats, though. He has made five of his last six. Sam Houston, though, has not scored in the last two and a half minutes, only making one of their last six shots. 
as AM Corpus on a 6 0 run. But an opportunity here coming out of this timeout for Demarcus Lampley at the Charlie's used car free throw line to break this current 64 to 64 tie as we stand. Again, second half brought to you by our good friend Dakery Beebe with Abby Realty. Dakery Beebe, Abby Realty is Huntsville's real estate expert. And as always, we are live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. So Lampley will line up here to go to that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. Charlie's Used Cars, customer satisfaction, our number one priority. Lampley here in this ball game has made one earlier on an and one. Critical free throw here for Lamp. He'll take a right-handed free throw shot. Good for Demarcus Lampley. That will break the tie. 65-64. Bearcats, by the way, are a perfect seven of seven from the free throw line. Second free throw. He'll bend his knees on this way. The shot good. Lampley keeps it perfect. 66-64, two-point advantage for Sam Houston, 3.42 to go here in the ball game. Sam Houston showing some backcourt pressure here in the back. Now they'll all retreat. It's Monroe back there guarding Smith. Smith bringing it into the front court across the logo at half court. Not all not out on the court right now. So he struggled from the field. He had a little bit of life, though, earlier here in this second. Down low, it goes into the hands of Keys. Keys turn around, floater, won't fall. Rebound goes to JB on May. Monroe got to bring it quickly into the front court. You can only hang out about eight seconds, and he will bring it across into the front court, across that timeline over the right wing. It's into the hands of May. Now at the top, Dante Powers. Powers guarded by Smith. Gets a right hand knocked around. No call here. Picks up his dribble. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Trying to work around a high screen from Ikpe. The defender, Smith, able to work through it, though. Powers here loses the ball. No foul called there as he dropped the ball. Jalen White has it on the right wing. He'll retreat back over to that right wing. Thought about a three. Instead, the pass goes here to Simeon Fryer. Over the left wing, it is White. White trying to push off on the left wing against Monroe. Good defense by the freshman, by the way. Here's White now going over to the right wing. It is Bertain. Bertain, the pass, the three, the shot, no good here as it would not fall for Fryer and the rebound to Javion May. Big rebounds here in the last minute or so by Javion May. 2.20 to go here in the second half, 66-64. And Coach Jason Hooten wants to get a timeout here and talk things over with his guys. We'll step aside for 30 seconds, 66-64 the score. Bearcats have the ball when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Network. You've got a problem. Your furnace isn't working. There's a simple fix for that. Well, simple for us. We are McGillberry Mechanical. We've been in business for over 30 years with the best technicians in the industry. And friendly, too. We guarantee complete precision tune-up, which will reduce your annual repair costs. Want to save money? Call McGillberry Mechanical. 936-291-2640. Because we care about your comfort. Sixty-six, sixty-four. Welcome back, friends. Here, two twenty-nine to go in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcats Sports Network. As the band is getting loud here, boy, I just love being in a gymnasium with the band. They've got the band on one side, they've got the cheerleaders on the other, and a pretty good crowd here tonight at the American Bank Center. This beautiful facility. A lot of fun being here. It'll be a lot more fun if the Bearcats can hold on here and eke out a very hard fought game here in a victory tonight but they've got their work cut out for them 229 to go again 66 64 as Nuttall will re-enter the game to inbound the basketball so it will be Nuttall on the court or to inbound on the court is Bryce Monroe and JV on May Demarcus Lampley and Tristan Ikpe so it'll be in their hands here over this last 230 at least for now Monroe gets the inbound pass standing near half court over to Nuttall on the right wing Nuttall guarded by White Back up top over to Lampley. Lampley wants to work. Now the pass goes back to Monroe. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Plenty of time here. So he'll cross over his dribble. Now works it to the top. Trying to go inside. Pass goes to Nuttall. He'll take a three from the wing. This one drops. Oh, Mama, what a big time three by Zach Nuttall. There has been no bigger shot in this ball game besides that three moments ago from Zach Nuttall. 69 to 64 on that Mokin Mocha Tourney at Law three-pointer. 153 to go. It's into the hands of Simeon Fryer on the right wing, and here the ball goes back to Smith. 
guarded by Monroe. Working a left-handed dribble, turns it around, back to Fryer on the right wing. Good defense, JV on May. He'll power his way inside. The shot no good, but the rebound on the offensive side right back to him, and now Ikpe charged with the foul. So Tristan Ikpe will pick up the foul there as Fryer got his own offensive rebound. That is the fourth personal. And only the second team foul here by the Bearcats in the second half, surprisingly. It's actually, no, I beg your pardon, the seventh team foul. So Fryer at the line here will shoot two regardless. He was in the act. So Fryer will take a deep breath, a couple of right-handed dribbles, call it three dribbles, spins it in his left hand, bends the knees, the right-handed free throw shot on the way, and good for Simeon Fryer. Fryer, five for five. He's got 21 points in 29 minutes. Uh, 31, 34 to go here. As Fryer will take a few more dribbles, he'll spin this one, bends his knees again. The right-handed free throw shot on the way. This one drops as well. Boy, Fryer's had a well-rounded game here. Six of six, 22 points in 29 minutes now. 1.30 to go. Bearcats holding on to that three-point advantage, 69 to 66. It's Monroe on the far side, moving from left to right with a right-handed dribble, waiting on direction from his teammates. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Guarding him is Miles Smith, eager to steal this one away. He's got his left hand reaching in there. Monroe's quick, though. From the left elbow, bounces it around. Igpe, yes, he's good. What a feed by Bryce Monroe on the assist to Tristan Igpe. He laid it in off the right side of the glass. That was made possible by Rocket Man Bryce Monroe. 71-66, 55 seconds to go here in Corpus. And an offensive foul now. That foul is called on Perry Francois as he was pushing off on Bryce Monroe. The turnover gives it right back to the Bearcats. And we've got another timeout on the court. 71, 66, 51 seconds to go. We'll step aside and take a 30 second break on the Bearcats Sports Network. Oh no, it's tax season again? What am I gonna do? Tax Express and Huntsville can help. Tax Express can handle my taxes? Are you sure? Heck yeah! Tax Express can handle personal, small business, and farm taxes. They can even do your payroll. Tax Express can do it all. Contact my Nana at Tax Express. Don't let your taxes stress you out. The professionals at Tax Express can prepare them for you. See them online at TaxExpressHuntsville.com. That's TaxExpressHuntsville.com. Back in action here from American Bank Center in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas. It's the Bearcats 71, the Islanders 66. A nine-game winning streak on the line for Sam Houston. They're trying to go 7-0 in the Southland with 51 seconds to go. Again, we're live here in the Dak Revivi Abbey Realty second half, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Appreciate everyone joining us tonight. Just got a text message from our good friend, Mr. Jason Barfield, moments ago, saying he's listening on the radio while he's sitting uh, at his son's soccer practice. Get us a dub, Jason. Appreciate you and all that you do for Sam Houston. And thanks for listening in tonight. By the way, if you've got shout-outs, we'd love to hear from you. 512-522-9105 is the number. That's the fan text line again at 512-522-9105. Let us know where you're listening from and who you got a shout out. Bearcats will inbound this basketball. Not all to inbound. Ikpe, Lampley, powers on the court. And this pass will go to Bryce Monroe in the backcourt here. And Monroe is double team. Quickly back up to Nuttall. They got to get it across the timeline. Monroe does barely get it across that timeline. He's double teamed again, trying to fight through two defenders. Bounce pass over to Lampley. Look for the intentional foul to come here very quick. They're not intentionally fouling him. 35 seconds to go. And now Monroe finally fouled here. Great job holding on to that ball by Sam Houston. And Javion May will check in. And the Bearcats at the line here. The foul is called on Simeon Fryer. I believe that's his third personal. And not in the bonus yet, though. So Sam will not go to the line here. I thought they would because it was seven team fouls. There we go. They got it fixed. Now I was about to say there were seven team fouls, and for some reason they initially lined up like they were going to inbound that one. The officials got it here. So Bryce Monroe will shoot the free throws. The freshman at the line. Boy, he's getting some critical just opportunities here. That free throw is good on the front end from that Charlie's used cars free throw. What I was trying to say is a young freshman, a lot of pressure on him right now, and he's able to knock down that 
free throw, 72-66. Second free throw, good as well for the freshman. 73-66, 32 seconds to go here in the ball game. As the Islanders have it back on the left side, it's Miles Smith takes a jumper from the free throw line. He's still hot, that shot good. And that will force a quick timeout by head coach Willis Wilson of the Islanders. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds, 24 seconds to go. Bearcats leading 73-68 here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal discomfort? Join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up and see how healthy your gut can feel. Align contains a quality probiotic strain developed by gastroenterologists. It adds more good bacteria to your gut to naturally help soothe your occasional digestive upsets with continued daily usage. This is the time to join the Align Healthy Gut Team Up from the number one doctor-recommended probiotic brand. Sign up at AlignProbiotics.com. Now welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from American Bank Center here in Corpus Christi, Texas. 24 seconds to go. Bearcats inbounding. Nuttall has it in the backcourt. Over to Bryce Monroe. No foul coming yet here. You'd expect the intentional. The Bearcats so able to move around it over to Lampley. Lampley here on the near side. Oh, the Bearcats still have it. And a whistle and a foul finally called here. It's going to go against Miles Smith. Well, once again, it's another game for the Bearcats where things got very testy, got very close, and down the stretch when it matters, the Bearcats on their way here. Still plenty of time, though. They've got to hit their free throws, which they've done exceptionally well tonight. And when I say exceptionally well, and I don't believe in a broadcaster causing anything to happen, they are a perfect 10 for 10 from that Charlie's to use cars free throw line tonight. Zach Nuttall at the line. He'll spin the ball, takes a couple of right-handed dribbles, bends his knees, a right-handed free throw shot on the way. This one no good. Again, you know, it is what it is. As the Islanders have it back here, trailing 73-68, seven seconds to go inside. The slam here by Jalen White with four seconds to go. It is a three-point Bearcat advantage. They've got to get it in. JV on May and a quick foul here on Bryce Monroe. So that is a foul on Nolan Bertain, I believe the ninth team foul, so still one and ones here. This is critical, by the way. Bryce Monroe needs to nail a free throw to keep it a two-point, or keep it a two-possession game. 73-70, to 70, 4.1 to go. Well, I talked about earlier the pressure on Bryce Monroe. Here's another opportunity for him to prove himself. He'll bend his knees. It's on the way. It's good. Oh, what a big free throw there by the freshman. 74 to 70. That makes it a two possession game. Monroe just looks calm as ever. The next free throw easy does it. With ice in his veins that I don't care, man. Turn on the heater. Three, two, one we are and the Bearcats escaping with a victory tonight. 75 to 70. What a hard fought game. Bryce Monroe nailing those free throws when it mattered the most, taking care of business tonight. And the Bearcats escaping with a 75 to 70 victory. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll break this one down on the Bearcats Sports Network. We'll be back in a moment. I'm Dr. Andrea Russo, a cardiologist. Maybe you're waiting to talk to your doctor right now. But if you're having an irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, don't wait. This could be a serious condition like atrial fibrillation, which can make you about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you're having these symptoms, don't wait. Talk to a doctor by phone, online, or in person. Brought to you by Bristol-Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. They've got the pizza with that fresh meat taste to put a smile on your face. Let's go to Double Dave's, Double Dave's. When you need a break, they got the right of food, and it's a really great place. Are you looking for a part-time job? Maybe you're a college student in need of cash. Well, now is your chance. Double Dave's is hiring for delivery drivers. Must be 18 years old and have had your license for two years. Apply online or in person today. Let's go to Double 
New Year's and New Deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 XT5 with 0.9% for 60 months and $4,000 rebate. Or a 2020 XT4 with 0.9% financing for 60 months and $4,000 in rebates. If you're looking for the hard to find Escalade and Escalade ESV, we can help. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Wiesner Cadillac in Huntsville, where we are home of the bottom line. Or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. The Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment Gear and Clearance Sale is going on now on all lawnmowers. All sizes, all models, all must go. Thousands in savings. Prices so low you don't want to miss this year in clearance sale on all Toro zero-turn mowers. Yanmar tractors and excavators. Gravely zero-turn mowers. And country clipper mowers. The best customer service and best products in Huntsville. 936-294-0282. Lone Star Outdoor Power Equipment serving Huntsville and the surrounding areas. Open six days a week. Right across from McCoy's on Highway 75 South. Sale ends January 31st, 2021. This is Kevin with Beckham & Jones Heating and Air Conditioning. Winter is here, so if you haven't had your heater checked, call us at 936-295-9173 and we will make sure your heater is running safe and efficient. Also, if someone in your home is suffering from allergies, we can install indoor air quality products such as air purifiers, media filters, UV lights, dehumidifiers, and more. Give us a call today at 936-295-9173 and make sure your home is healthy and comfortable. Your neighbor since 1946. Now that's Beckham & Jones. License number TACLA 260 See you. American Glass and Mirror does all things glass and mirror. Auto, residential, and commercial with 25 years of experience. Repairing, replacing, designing, and new installations. We've got a lot of glass all around us. So think of American Glass and Mirror when you need them. Emergency jobs like windows and plate glass, too. Quotes are free, and you'll see that they're reasonable and their service and products are high quality. Providing friendly service with reasonable prices for quality products and skills. American Glass and Mirror, located at 2612 Montgomery Road. CMG. Houston Electric Cooperative is focused on you, our consumer members. That's why we work day in and day out to keep your electricity costs affordable. In fact, our recent power costs are some of the lowest in the past decade. Sam Houston Electric Cooperative, your trusted source for power and information. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Well, if you like close, stressful games, this was one that you wanted to be tuned in tonight. The Bearcats holding on a five-point advantage. Victorious here in Corpus Christi, 75-70 to over the Islanders. Boy, your hats go off to this Islander team uh, coached by Willis Wilson. It is always a very tough team. Of course, last year falling in this same arena here at American Bank Center, but tonight taking care of business and now extending that winning streak to 10 in a row. And the Bearcats, an all-important 7-0 in Southland Conference play. This is a team that tonight, you know, in a way, Coach talks about how can they do down the stretch. Things went back and forth, but the Bearcats were able to find a way to get a victory tonight. The free throw shooting, that's been a nemesis for them this season. But tonight, they found a way to nail shots from that Charlie's used car free throw line, only missing one. It was Zach Nuttall finishing 5 of 6 from the free throw line. He was 6 of 24, though, from the field, finishing with 18 points in 35 minutes. We'll go over more individual player stats here in, in a little bit. You know, going back a couple of years ago, the Bearcats won 13 in a row, so uh, hopefully they can keep up their winning ways. And they've got another tough one, though, coming up on Sunday. Of course, uh, we'll talk about that one on the pregame show on Sunday there at Nacogdoches. And look, let's bring a sea of orange down there to Nacogdoches as we face Stephen F. Austin. The Bearcats are going to need your support. Let's go down there, adopt these guys. Let's support them, Huntsville. Show up and let's support the Bearcats. And wherever you're listening from, you may not be listening from Huntsville. You may be in another state and you're saying, you know what, I can get down there Call up the university, figure out how to get tickets, uh, and I'm talking about Stephen F. Austin. Come down there and support Sam Houston as uh, they are on a roll right now. Again, the final tonight, 75-70. to 70. We'll quickly look over final stats here. Sam Houston out-rebounded in this ballgame. Corpus holding down 34 boards compared to 32. Ten of them on the glass for Sam Houston, 22 on the defensive side. They dished out 15 assists, nine turnovers. I thought there was a lot more than that, but the official uh, final only shows nine turnovers for Sam Houston. So they actually did a pretty good job of holding on to the ball tonight. Early on, there was a lot of turnovers early, but they found a way to hold on to it. And uh, down in the paint, 18 points for Sam Houston. Three blocks tonight. They stole it six times. Uh, and, and actually, 24 points. Let me slow down. 34 points in the paint tonight for Sam Houston. They scored 24 points off of 15 AM Corpus turnovers. 
And uh, so Sam Houston finding a way to win tonight. For AM Corpus, again, 34 rebounds, eight of them on the offensive side, 26 on the defensive side. They had 13 assists, 15 turnovers. Uh, they committed one block and also stole the ball three times. They only had 12 points uh, down there off of turnovers and 28 down in the paint. For the scoring side, we'll look at players here for Abilene or for Texas A&M Corpus first. It was Fryer had 22 points in 30 minutes. He finished 7 of 13 from the field, 2 of 4 from three-point land. He was a perfect 6 of 6 from the charity stripe tonight. Uh, Smith also had 16 points in 32 minutes of play. He was 6 of 13. No other players in double digits for Texas A&M Corpus. They finished the ball game with 25 of 52 shots from the field, shooting 48%. 8 of 17 from three-point land, and they missed a few of them from the free-throw line, 12 of 18 tonight. So, you you know, you go and you make some of those free-throws, this game could have been a lot closer. And, again, we talked about the 34 rebounds there. For Sam Houston, uh, several players getting into the action tonight. Well, it was Demarcus Lampley, another 20-point game for that young man. Over the last six games, he has averaged 23 points. He had 138 points total over six games. He does it again tonight with another 20-point performance. Lampley has simply been a player this year that has stepped up in a very big way, and he is making a positive impact, as all of these players are, but especially Lampley on this Sam Houston team. He is now eight games on the season over 20 points. Again, he finished with 21 tonight, 7 of 13 from the field, 4 of 9 from that. Moke and Moke attorneys at law, 3-point line, 3 of 3 from the Charlie's used cars. Free throw line, he finished with 5 rebounds and 3 assists in 40 minutes. He turned it over 3 times. Zach Nuttall found some rhythm in that second half, finishing with 18 points in the ball game, 35 minutes. He was 6 of 24 from the field, only 1 of 10 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law, 3-point line, 5 of 6 from the Charlie's used car free throw line. He hauled in 7 rebounds and 2 assists. And then Tristan Ikpe, who is someone that we've talked about, who is really starting to find a groove here. He had another night of 12 points, 6 of 7 from the field. He hauled in five rebounds. So look for those rebound numbers to go up for that young man. That's what Coach Hooten is really starting to expect from him now. Well, what's up next for Sam Houston? We've already talked about it. It's the big game. This is going to be the one now that is the all-critical game that everyone has their eyes on. It is against Stephen F. Austin. That a 3 p.m. tip-off on Sunday, the final day of January. We'll be on the air around 2.45, 2.50 with pregame, and then that tip-off at 3 o'clock. So head up to Nacogdoches. Let's support the Bearcats and cheer them on. a and Corpus Christi as uh, they will skid here to 0-4 in the Southland Conference. They are still trying to get on some sort of a winning track here. They will fall to 3-10 overall, 0-4. But, again, your hats go off to them tonight. This is a very tough team. It's always tough to play here at American Bank Center. Sam Houston improves to 13-5 and 7-0 and in conference. They extend their winning streak now to 10 games. Again, a special thank you tonight to the public address announcer, Mr. Mike Coffin, who is a 2002 Bearcat alum. Good to catch up with him. And also Mr. Stephen King with Media Relations here at Texas A&M Corpus. Appreciate all that they do and their generous hospitality. Uh, Friends, as I end every broadcast, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement and lend a hand to support somebody out there tonight needs you. Steve Ricks back at the KSAM Studios. I want to give a big thank you to Jason Barfield, Cody Stark for all that they do. Dave Donahue's our general manager. I'm Rob Pitt, friends. Good night and God bless from Corpus Christi. We'll see you on Sunday. Are you one of the millions of Americans who experience occasional bloating, gas, or abdominal pain?